National Football Championship 2023. Going down October 10th to November 17th. Come see the best of Jebel Youth. Hope International. System 3. Dad, Year 1 and Year 2. Avenues Youth. Associates Combined. DTVE. Year 1 and Year 2. Med Unit and Sports Science. Last year, we brought you football under the lights at the Honest Vale Plain Field. This year, we're bringing you an explosion of much more action. Action that can only be found at the National Lotteries. You need to sucker. SVG Community College. In, 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 in. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in St. Vincent, we're having the massive 5,000 US dollars. Yes, you got that right, 5,000 US dollars. My Smart Toilet Seat, Table Tennis Series, Invitational Club Championships. Ooh. This winner-takes-all group to knockout style tournament would be held daily from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. From the 30th of October to the 4th of November. Wow, that's six days of hardcore table tennis. Teams are invited from Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia, Dominica, USA, and your very own St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Each of the preliminary rounds will be held at the NDP headquarters. Opposite the St. Vincent Girls High School, Kingstown, admission $5. And the final showdown will be hosted at the Western George Secondary School in Bel Air, admission $20. Food and beverages will be on sale. Don't miss this grand event. Are looking for I'm a place to relax place with to natural, relax cool, natural breeze cool breeze and friendly surroundings? surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, Bay Hill Tree Bar. located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also we sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the, the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Tree Bar. Island style souvenir and clothing store. We carry everything you need in souvenirs t shirts in all different sizes, caps, keychains. Key rings, plaques and banners, magnets, ID holders, mugs, and we even carry St. Vincent flag. And that's not all. We carry Hawaiian style t-shirts and dresses, handbags with matching scarves. We also carry tie-dye dresses, shirts and tops. Everything in our store are made right here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So come on over and check us out. We are located at the cruise ship berth in Kingstown. Our telephone number 784. Yes, good evening once again to our viewers and listeners. That number again. Uh, uh, viewing and listening to the National Lotteries Unique Touch. St. Vincent Grenadines Community College Invitation of Football Championship 2023. <clears throat> Sorry, we are about to start this evening's proceedings our fourth game will be dads would be jibbles they'll be coming up against is it Jibbles? did see jibbles jibbles coming up against dv dtve that's the technical division uh yeah ones they become up against jibbles jibbles they are the defending champions and um thus far they are uh, have won all their games and um definitely looking to take it again the championship this season now it's standing there are a few other teams that probably can um are likely to to create some store but until that has happened we will have to stick with them defending their champion and, and looking as if they can they can really de, um really take it out take out this championship as before so we are being viewed um our view viewing coming through the behill news network right here the news network they 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 are bringing every all the viewing and listening audiences uh from the side of the playing field yes they have been following this program for the last eight years or so the defending champs like I said before, uh, Jibels, the runners up, or Hope International. Uh, this year we have two invitees, two other clubs in System 3 and Avenues United, along with the, the other faculties of the, that's the, under the auspices, <coughs> sorry, of the community college, technical division and the science division as well. 
Uh, so that's what it is for the moment in terms of the teams that are taking part. So there are more teams invited just to see what they are about to do. So we'll look, both teams are working out now. Uh, and uh, red, it looks as if Jibbles are in blue. No, there's some, there seem to be a mix up here based on my fixtures because I have Jibbel youths. I'm looking carefully to see. Yes, Jibbel youths. So the teams are now marching out in perfect red and perfect all red, all blue. So they're quite distinctive here where teams are clear. So in terms of passes, selection and, and, and the likes, it should be clear. If you're playing good football and you know what you're about while you're out there, then you, there shouldn't be any hiccups. And we see like the one team seem to be starting with short players. But we'll see how that goes. Oh, we do have, yes, the Division of Art, Science and General Studies, Year 2, and the Division of Technical Vocational Education, Year 2. So there was an error there. Uh, sorry about that. I was given the wrong card. So it's not Jebel's. So it's now the two faculties, uh, the sciences and the technical division. So we see they're off to a start. Yes, it's supposed to be 40, 40 minutes duration of the game, but um, it's all left to the officials out there. We see Levan Victory, he's the referee in today's game, assisted by um, his assistant, the one here. I'll give you the name in a moment. And assistant two, Melissa. She's also in national setup, one of the coaches in the female division. And Alonzo Butte, yes, he's the assistant one. So it's now a <clears throat> the technical division. They have lovely ball being played today. Good move, good, good run in, indeed. Good pass. A player goes forward, there, cuts back, trying to come inside, looking for some support. Holds up a bit too long. They have less players, and he has really done too much there. A very great pass, but he was able to fight his way through. Did he, can he get one across? All a bit too late. He should have done that much earlier. So it's now with the Sciences, they're trying to go forward. Handle ball call there against no a foul it is. And um the flag goes up there for an offside call against the dads. So dads are playing in blue, in, in sorry, in red and technical division, they are playing in blue. Two Quite distinct colors, and this you see the whistle going there. Okay, they're seeking a dead ball. You see the whistle start going here, there. so it's now with the uh, okay. poor touch there on the part by number he's 10. A dead ball, he should have been so opening up and allowing that ball to flow, but he stopped it and uh, went into touch, touch the for a choice. Number 10, a dead ball. Short taken, open up and down the floor, but he stopped it. I uh, went into touch, touch ball on the outside. It's now going to be a throw in again. A second throw in there. That's trying to go forward there. Uh, a really rash foul committed there. 
the whistle has been sounded and uh, the dads yeah now they, they they'll be trying to see how much inroads they can make into this one day that's a dad's year too division of arts science and general studies they let's see what inroads they can make because i think they not i think they, but the year two technical they are playing with play up three players shot they are two four six eight but just about eight players nine players that is too short kick taken to the keeper and it went slightly over the top just clip the bomb and into touch uh recognizing that they are there's a makeshift um keeper in goal this evening so they will have to try and avoid as much shots being taken there against their goalkeeper so it's now with the technical invocation they're coming forward now but it's intercepted players trying to shield up but it doesn't have enough weight you know trying to play in the area which could be dangerous but it deflects on the touch over the goal line or a goal kick so the goal kick there to the technical division that's the dtve technical division technical vocational department of technical divisional education division and education they are now having a goal kick a long kick down field well served but poorly taken it's now with the dads they're now trying to go forward but taking over there long ball long field there appeal for handball but the referee gives an advantage plays on because they had they had it he's not being robbed of it now so it's now taken over there by the dads they're now trying to go forward he really that one play that one across it deflected there a bit too hard a touch it goes to the keeper who collects and boots down field high and hard that's about mid pitch player tried to take that one he did get a contact and do it but it was uh way off him however the referee thought that um there was an infringement there so free kick now being given to the dads a bit of pushing that is so it's going to be uh free kick that's about mid pitch i make it so they are done by two players yeah they do they only feel nine players so let's see and the rules of the competition are if you have the players are not here from the start from the get-go and let's see this is a chance and goal here the keeper comes out the, uh, creates a problem there but an easy goal here easy finish the keeper had to come he did come he was beaten uh Yes, he was beaten he got past the keeper he got past the defender came inside and put it in the side nothing uh, first goal there uh get the scorer for you in a minute took my eyes off but it appears to be number 11 number 11 yes goal scorer i'll give you his name in a moment so number 11 Devante McDowell, that is. Long ball play today. Uh, Into touch is going to be a kick in. Sorry, a throw in for the. The dads, they have won a throw and they are up by one goal. So let's see, throw taken. Playing out turns in. Trying to find his man, but found uh, a player from the opposing team. Now he's trying to go wrong. He, Looking to get wrong, his man does so successfully. Does he have a shot? He had a chance there. A shot come across there, deflected. Still was able to get that back. He still has some control of it. He turns inside now, has two, three, four person challenge him. But almost tucked away. It's going to be a corner kick to be awarded to the technical vacation. They are in blue. So they've got a, another chance, gotten closer again this time they did have more chance at the first get go but they lost that corner comes across deflected straight to a play there couldn't take it too nicely another clearance coming there another long one being played today that, that will go over into touch for a goal kick to the dads yeah too and both teams seem to be featuring with two makeshift goalkeepers this evening so we'll be interested to see and what will, what will happen here? I think the dads would have already witnessed, recognizes that 
the technical doesn't have a good goalkeeper and been trying very hard to to get it between the uprights they have already gone ahead by one goal so it's now with the, the dads they're not trying to go forward again the goal scorer twists and turns there he still has control playing up with it finds this man the right wing back he plays that one forward to find this man flag stays down he's moving forward let's see what can make up this one he's been challenged heavily still has control can he get it across and flag goes up for a foul maybe pulling or uh, uh, something something that's all wait to see but assistant flag went up so it's going to be a join a throw taken there to find his man number three who tries to come through there but he's been robbed of it player turns inside the goal scorer he's trying to go through he turns again holds around gets around wheels around probably do a bit too much now trying to find his man he's been robbed of it it's now with technical who changes uh, good move decision now what would he do next head straight to the head of defender who we'll head that one over the touch line for another throw in to the dads that the technical yes technical vocational Shot taken down line, intercepted there. They got that. Challenge comes in there. Hold, hold it up, try to get it through, but it's another show being given there to the dads here too. Shot taken. It's a bit of bub bubble there. Quite a lot of players between there, but that player was able to turn out now. Let's see what he does with it. Find this man, try to get that one through, but robbed of it. So it's another clearance coming there. Let's see. Players playing. Same color playing very close. Get that one to find this man. A lovely ball being played through there. Can you get on to it? Let's see. But a clear one's coming there. By the way, of uh, number 15. For the dads. And it goes into touch. That's El Rondo Henry. And I've got one for the Play that one across. So I think the intention was to score there, but it's now with. The year twos and he comes across, shot and goal it cleared away there by the defense there for that. They're now trying to look for a second goal. Pushes that one forward a bit long, but he still has some control to get that through. But that came off a player there. It's still with the dad's year two. They're trying to go forward. Block comes in there. He comes around now. Players trying to get that one. Get that one through. Play that one across to find this man there. He's the bungled up the good turn. You want me to carry it? Try that in. Player's been Fought very hard, eh? Got out of the the hole he was in. You know, trying to play that one on, gives that one away almost. So it's now with technical location. They're trying to come forward. Good move. Good quick feet, but he rubs that rubs losses that one in the process. The long ball being played down there. Chase is on. Let's see, can he get there? No, the defense was there first. He number two. That's on um, the technical location they're trying to come across. And uh, it's gonna be a train, that is. Yeah, we have a little delay here to get rid of some of the animals that are sticking across. <laughs> yeah, if, I guess if we check them, you have about 11 out there. But they're playing on, uh, uh, going from the other side of the, of the goals. <laughs> yes, yeah, so back at it, that was going to be a free kick. The technical invocation, I think that one comes in, it drops, came up the defense. A long ball been played on there, flag stays down on side. Players try to come in and out. He plays it back to find his man who controls. He chooses to go back. Block there. Rob the weights now with technical invocation. Now they're trying to go forward. Goes to there, play that one over. Let's see the chase is on here. Oh my word. And this should be. This should be. But no, the referee flag. Assistant flag stays down. The referee. Also, maybe wasn't too sure about that one. It looks, looks iffy, iffy from my perspective, but he represents control. Player, there's an appeal there, but it's not with that. They're trying to go forward. Plays that one cross, finds his man, flick that one over. Player was in offside, recognizes that. He walks out. Now he's trying to give chase, but the player for technical application has that one. They're now trying to come forward. He plays that back, back to his goalkeeper. Let's see what he has. Six that one down field. Finds his man number three. He's trying to go two turns around, looking for some support. Good footwork there, but he gets past one man. Bit of pulling going on there. He's his self control. Losing that one out, but wins a free kick in the process. The referee at that time was playing a bit of advantage, but it, it was denied. So it's going to be a free kick to the technical and vocational year two. They're behind. With just about 27 minutes or so. 
leaving in the first period of play in this first encounter this evening. It's Dad's year two against technical and vocational yes, year twos. So it's going to be a free kick. That ball played through, deflected off a player there. But the struggles on number two has it. He holds on. Drake gets past his man. Still trying to go through. Holds it up. Wait on the player there. He's now going cross there. Cross comes in and a clearance. Over the goal line. Goal kick. Sorry, corner kick to the technical application on the year two. So this is your second corner for the evening. Uh, this is about the closest they get into goal. And let's see the shot by two players. And the corner kick goes in a bit flat though. Headed over there. Deflection. Player plays up in the area for year two. Can he take a shot? No. Uh, foul call against that player. For dad's year two. See the referee call on the physio there. He seemed to be in some serious pain there. Not sure what it was. But the physio is now running on to assess. The referee is making sure that he's not being treated by none of the players because that's not their job. And the players still there lying. Let's see. Let's hope that there's nothing too severe. But there's a lot of players there, especially from the dad's team, <laughs> around him. So let's see. Some treatment being administered there. Some assessment, sorry. So the physio is now trying to make sure that he can probably stretch properly. He's still rolling there in a bit of pain. But he's being assisted now. He's now on his feet. Not too comfortable though. Certainly not too comfortable. He uh, will have to leave the field most likely. He really doesn't have the strength on that leg. And he's hobbling, not sure if he can make it out. Yeah, he gets in stronger as he tries to work that one out. Maybe a twisted ankle or something like that. And I'm not sure if he, this player will be able to re-enter the field of play. The, the, the motion I'm seeing, you know, as he appears to be leaving the field. But the best substitution, uh, let you know at the moment, there seem to be at least two players on the bench. So... At least they have a sub. But other team who does have nine players. And the rules are that once the game started, nobody can enter the field of play. To kick taken there. A clearance. Number 15 has that. He goes outside. Find his man. Controls. He plays that one forward. Intercepted there by the technical vocational. It's now with that. They're trying to go forward. He holds it up. Plays his man through. Let's see. This can be dangerous. He gets in front. No. Deflected there. Defender came in there quite nicely. And whistle blows. He had an advantage. Had I been a referee there and that advantage was taken away, then he should have been issuing a caution. But the referee thinks different. So it's now free kick. They take a long left on the flank there. Nice one too, but straight to the defense for dads who plays that one over. There's no one there. Keeper picks it up. And he kicks that one down field. It drops now. Only to number 13. Who has that one? Forward. Plays that one out down the line. The flag stays down. He touches now. So he's in our side, on side position. He tries to come through. Plays it across to find his man. Who chose to go back the same angle. But was able to pick it up still on, on the get-go. While he goes today, trying to get a shot on. Running too long. That's the goal scorer. He's blocked. And two players now for the same team. That's colliding now with an advantage there. Yeah, two is trying to come forward, send his man forward. I think that one flag stays down, but the defender won it there. But he was robbed over there again, and a foul coming there, being tripped. Not deliberate, but impeded play. So it's going to be a free kick to technical and vocational and education. Yeah, twos. Leading this encounter, force of two this evening, at a dad's year two. They have scored one goal. That goal came by the way of Devante McDowell. Early in the first period, just about 22 minutes remaining, according to my clock. And the referee comes across, let's see. Technical which has a free kick. Lobbed it over too high, too hard, 
and away. Goal kick. Goal kick. And this is going to be a very long weekend here in St. Vincent and Jeans. Uh, on Friday will be our 44th anniversary of our independence. So loads of activities. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be back down here as well. Um, as a result of um, Friday being a holiday. Uh, this is one of the days where we normally play as well, but taking some liberty too. Lots of activities for the weekend, however. We're back to football now. That ball drops. Finds his man number 13 who tries to go in when there was a player way out on a play through there. A flag is going up. Yes, offside. And that player still tries to make sure that he can score. Probably he has a, a, a referee who is quite um, not really wanting to issue a caution here because once the whistle blows, you should believe in the ball, not to continue the flow. So it's going to be a free kick from our side call against the dads here too. That one is, let's see, played over. Looking for his man who didn't take it too nicely, but it was rubbed over there. It's a bit of bundle. The player still has it for technical application. Passes it to his man, rubbed over there. That player's tried to go to you now. It's now with the yeah, too. It's a good move by that player. He's been he's been the playmaker for that team. A lovely ball being played through there. This can be dangerous. Let's see what can happen here now. Oh, and a lovely goal. Lovely goal. So we see uh Kyle Kai Young scoring for the dads, the technical vocational year twos. And a very good play here. And as I, I made mention of um the gentleman there in the number three t-shirt. Compton. Compton. Number three. Compton. Yeah. Yes, he seemed to be the most um, outstanding player in midfield, eh? And we we see um he really did well there to get that one through. And even though they're done by two players, and what I've observed since the tournament have started is that the teams who come from behind end up being the winners. <laughs> Scoring as much as nine goals on some occasions. So it's now with Compton again. Compton turns in. A, a pretty good move of the ball. Pretty good move. I think he's trying to do too much now. And they're already there. That's yet to try to go forward. Player's down again. Same player who was down earlier on. He should not have go back on the field. Shot and goal. And it's clear as day. And player's down again. This time I think he may need a stretcher. So why, why is he? Because they, they do have a sub, at least. So he should not have been stretching that injury. I know, I know the excitement with these youngsters always wanting to play and have fun, but definitely now this is more than what the physio can handle. He may just have to find himself to, to um, someone of some medical, in the medical field who will do further assessment and to correct whatever whatever ailment he's really, because he was in no, no way in a tackle uh, of, of, of any sort, just that his muscles definitely failed him. And now he's, he's really, really in pain and will believe in the field of play. <clears throat> As it seemed to be his left leg too. And I've been, as I've heard from the man who masterminded this whole tournament that he should not have gone back on the field because apparently some maybe some torn ligament or something like that. And he's he has to leave the field of play. So it'll be no more for him in this game. And the only substituted player. <laughs> I, I wouldn't comment on what I'm seeing here at the moment, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a switch of the footwears. <laughs> yes, so game has resumed now. We have about, let's see, eight players. So both teams do have about eight players now because there seem to be some switching of gears here where we see, we see now three players off the field of play. Um, let's see if, if the technical vocational can really sink into them now. They can create a, a spot of banner. But it's now with technical vocational. They're trying to go forward. I'm playing from right. To left, you know, trying to move forward. Let's see. 
That one's being played down find this man who controls. But it's back to one to he intend to go, but got that one on a flick. Let's see. Gets that one across, still has some control of it. Gets that one across, looking for some somebody to run on to. There was none, but he played, got, got a good contact now. This can be it, this, this can be it, this can be it. Oh my word. And look, the, oh my word. The technical implications could have definitely gone up by, by two, by an extra goalie, uh, making it 2 1, but he made a mock of it. The keeper came out and it deflected off him, and the keeper was able to get a second punch onto it. But it's now with the, this, yes, another foul here. This will collect any penalty here, yes. Would it be a penalty? No, the referee's pointing there, so that may be just on the edge of the 18 there. Luckily for him, he could have seen the shoulder coming in very early that he's going to try and reach in to see if he can probably slow him down a bit but in the referee's opinion he committed a foul there and luckily for them but it's on the edge of the 18 it's going to be a free kick for the dads here too that is the division of arts sciences and general studies they are playing against the division of technical and vocational education a year two as well so now they do have uh Ten players are still on, so a player is still short for the dads. Uh, it's going to be a free kick now, let's see. That player lines up, look at the goal scorer in Matt Dowell. He's going to take a left foot in, let's see. Oh, very poor indeed. They're not sure what the intention was there. He couldn't be going to the front post because that's where the keeper was standing. So she'll be probably laughing, looking at the far corner, but poor execution. Ball crosses the goal line, it's going to be a goal kick to technical and vocational, who should have been up by at least two goals now. Uh, there's a, a call back there by the assistant. The ball was not spotted properly in the penalty area, so it's going to be a kick so that's taken over now. It's now with the dads, with technical and vocational, they're trying to come forward. A ball will be played, finds the midfield, and I'm. Um, uh, Please that one across to find this man. He's trying to go for there. He's now trying to go to a good move there. Very um, educated footballer, as we say, for his movement. He put that one a bit too long. He comes across and he's being clipped there. And the referee points to the penalty area there. And like I said, I've, I've admired this guy, McDowell, um, Dave, uh, David, David, David Compton. He's been, he's been the mover um, for, for this team. I would have seen him uh, from the previous games playing and Definitely showing it out this evening. It looks as if he's going to take the penalty. He actually took the ball from about midfield, mid pitch, I should say. Come around, get around to the edge of the 18 there. He was clipped by a defender and a penalty awarded here. So, definitely now, let's see. Number three player there in Compton is going to take this penalty. Let's see. Compton relaxes, goes forward, and he finds the corner there. So the dads, the technical implication are here too. They are now up by two goals. And as I said before, why observation from for this season that the teams that come from behind end up winning the game. And and let me remind you that they are only they're only feeling nine players this evening. While the technical well the, the dads team uh do had a full complement. They do have a full complement on the field now. They will have to fight again. Um from behind. So let's see. Would they be able to score? They do have the numbers to so do. But execution is all about it this evening. So retake has been ordered for the start. Players were advancing before the time. It's the one play back now by McDowell, the lone goal scorer. So it's now with technical. With the dads, they're trying to go forward. But Rob, the way they gain technical and vocation are trying to come through. They're playing there with good confidence there, good strong playing, but the good strong tackle comes in there. Player wins that one. He's trying to move forward now. Goes through two, three. Has three persons around him. What would he do? It's about all about making now. He still has some control. Play that one. You know, find his man now. Let's see what to make up this one. The kick comes in. Deflects off of the plan today. Uh, and he was able to keep that one in. Plays that one to find his number 13 player. Who turns out. He's trying to come around now. Gets that one across. To find number 11. He controls. Gets past one. Plays that one wide now. Let's see. Keeper goes there and hold that one up. The player was able to overrun it. Has a shot and goal now, way over the crossbar. And into touch for a goal kick to the technical and vocational education. Yeah, two. They are now leading by two goals to one. Kia Young, he scored one. And the penalty was scored by Javid Compton. 
Yes, and the long goal for the dads, Devante McDowell. So that's a long kick down field there eh? from a goal kick. And there's no one challenging. Player challenges now. He gets there. Can he keep it in? And yes, he does. Looking for some support. Only one man to serve down front. He comes in though. Can he keep it in? Play that one across. Deflected from the keeper there. This can be dangerous. Let's see. An advancing player comes there. A bit overweighted touch there. And he took it into touch there. And um, 24 there for the technical vocational in Williams. Ran that one over the goal line for a goal kick to the technical, to the dad's here, twos. Henry Long down field looking for his man. Does find a player there who deflects that, but it's rubbed over there by the technical team. Play with nine players, down by two. Guess that one opens up, turns back in, looking for the stronger players to pass to. Is the number 13, finds the central defender. They're now playing a good one, two among themselves. A player now has advanced. Plays that one in to find his man who didn't read it, but it was intercepted there, so they win a uh, throwing in the process. It's going to be... Oh, my. All right, the referee assistant say that show, that show should have been going the other way. A throw taken there, a long one in. Finds a man who substituted earlier on, but didn't take that too nicely. Just now with the technical question, how do you that one to find his man? He's now moving forward, looking to some support up front there. Plays that one over, but head over there by the defense there. Yeah, the challenge comes in there. Number three in Compton took that one. Was trying to advance, but the keeper said it was a foul against one of his other players. So they're now trying to move forward. The goal scorer has that one. He's moving through. Quite confident as well. Plays that one down, but went as far as the defense there for technical vocation. Plays that one to find this man, but they stepped there. Didn't take too nicely. Another and struggled at that one. Both players are struggling there in a tussle. Clearance coming there. That player was stripped in the process there. And the dads, the technical vocation are winning another free kick. Just on the edge of the 18 there. And the referee was right there to pick that one up. So it's going to be another try. And I, I can almost, if I can put a bet on this one, Compton's going to be the other one, I believe, who the previous penalty score. Let's see. But that player is down. He got clipped. And is now having a, a free kick. So it's just, just about the edge of the 18, you know. So it's about 25 meters or so out. So, it's going to be a free kick. Well, you see a player, look up, there's a player right back on the edge, on the, on the, on the goal line, you know, assisting the keeper who's not the best. And I run over there and a slab coming there and it's, oh my, almost caught the case there because player and keeper was going to that one, but the keeper got his hand to it first and was able to make some contact and a clear hands coming there. But it's now with the dads here to toss come down, that player goes through again, try to see, let's see, can he come into the box, look up a penalty, get that one across. Keeper was able to collect this time and uh, try to get a quick start. Didn't make the best of kicks. So it's now with the technical position here too. He can't choose. Looking for some support. Comes across. But he take a shot. Get that one across. Looking to shot and goal there. Deflects. And uh, he was able to pick up now by a player of his own team. That's the technical invocation. He wins a throw in in the process. And uh, technical invocation coming from behind. Really trying to make some inroads here into... The dad's pattern. A throw taken there, looking for his man. He's at one back nicely, but going to as far as the defender there. 13 for yeah, two's trying to change that play, but intercepted there. Now the yeah, two's for technical application now trying to come forward. They are really digging deep now into the dad's defensive area. And the ball being played there, not the best, but he retrieved the good move. Then really knocking the ball around now. Shot and goal there. There was a deflection. It's going to be a corner, yes. So maybe hadn't that been deflected, there might have been another goal here for the technical application. They're now resting deeply in the half here, this half of the technical of the dads, and um, doing a corner in the process. Let's see what will be the end result. With eight minutes on my clock and the countdown, let's see. Corner goes in a bit flat. Didn't take, didn't clear that too nicely, but went straight across. The 18 there, player number 14 now has it. He's trying to take a run, but straight into that player there, the defender number 11 for technical application. He was played back, find his man. The good one to the head. Let's see the next motion. Try to come back, but rubbed over there. It's now with the technical application. Who sent his man forward? Uh, the flag stays down because the player who was in outside position didn't challenge. And uh, another player came through there, but it's now with the dads. Uh, touch there. 
number two, four, he let that one across the goal scorer. A long one, he sent his player forward. Let's see. He tries a bit of fancy, but there he comes in. No, got the chance to pass. He does so, finds his man who controls, takes a shot and goal. Let's see. Bunks out of the keeper and was able to come on a second attempt, retrieve, and he's going to look to get that one down field. Let's see. He does so. <laughs> Straight outside. Good relief for him, though, because he would have stopped that shot from scoring. So it's two goals to one. Technical and vocational education. Year two leading over the dads. That is a division of Arts, Sciences and General Studies. A division of the Villa Campus. Um, they're behind by one and that one comes across find this man there sitting there waiting oh my word poor finish again the keeper came there as i say i i would say a stopper because he's not the original keeper but he's there to do a job and he did it quite nicely in that he was able to deflect that one for a corner which should have been a goal in all circumstances but they live to fight another day so it's gonna be a corner to, I want to quickly take and find this man. Let's see, he comes across trying to get use the byline. He goes across there, was intercepted there. That uh, technical division gets away with that one player moves his way through Matt Dow That's not Matt Dowell, it's uh Compton. Compton picked that one through to send his man, but it was intercepted there. But it's now with the year uh, twos. Technical and, and the flag goes up. That player number 13 was running from an offside position, and uh, as a result, offside call free kick to. Technical position, a long one down field, like, but it's staying. Player got that one. Let's see, moving forward, looking for some support. Moving forward, check, checks, come back. Take that one far to his right wing back. Looking to get one in the midfield to find Compton. Compton now picks that one up a bit long. Compton gets past one Monday. That one has been played too. Let's see, he's going to cross goal. No, unfortunately, luckily for him, plays down field. Like. Can he get a second touch into it? A block coming there, but partially a clearance coming there, not to the best. But one comes now, which is much better. Number 10 has that one. Let's see. Sends the player forward. They are all offside, both of them. And it's going to be a free kick to the technical and vocational. Play through there. Let's see. The technical vocational has that one. Put that one across a fine his man. Let's see. Fix that one nicely. But uh, the referee says play on. Player is now done. Uh, referee says. Uh, what does it be across the players down? Let's see. Is this good? Uh, if, uh, interception there. A clearance coming there by the technical vocational. The referee has his whistle in his mouth and he has now blown for half time. So it's half time score here from the Sinai playing the field in the Simmons Grandis Community College Invitation of Football Championship 2023, the eighth edition. The technical and vocational education year two is coming from behind, leading uh, two goals to one over the Division of Arts, Science and General Studies. The, uh, the lone goal scorer is Devante McDowell. 2 1 is the score here. And um, we go to for some commercials at this point while we I take a little rest. And okay, so we now have some commercials. One and year two, med unit 10, sports science. 
Last year, we brought you football under the lights at the Honest Vale playing field. This year, we're bringing you an explosion of much more action. Action that can only be found at the National Lotteries. You need to soccer. SVG Community College. In, 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 in. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in St. Vincent, we're having the massive 5,000 US dollars. Yes, you got that right, 5,000 US dollars. My Smart Toilet Seat, Table Tennis Series, Invitational Club Championships. Ooh. This winner takes all group to knockout style tournament would be held daily from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. From the 30th of October to the 4th of November. Wow, that's six days of hardcore table tennis. Teams are invited from Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia, Dominica, USA, and your very own St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Each of the preliminary rounds will be held at the NDP headquarters. Opposite the St. Vincent Girls High School, Kingstown, admission $5. And the final showdown will be hosted at the Western George Secondary School in Bel Air, admission $20. Food and beverages will be on sale. Don't miss this grand event. Island Style Souvenir and Clothing Store. We carry everything you need in souvenirs. T-shirts in all different sizes, caps, keychains, key rings, plaques and banners, magnets, ID holders, mugs, and we even carry St. Vincent flag. And last not all, we carry Hawaiian style t-shirts and dresses, handbags with matching scarves. We also carry tie-dye dresses, shirts, and tops. Everything in our store are made right here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So come on over and check us out. We are located at the cruise ship berth in Kingstown. Our telephone number, 784-593-6338. That number again, 784-593-6338. It's Island Style. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Looking for a unique specialty design for that special occasion? Look no further. At Dick Elysius, they specialize in endless possibilities. They can bring your ideas to life and provide you with a unique cake created for your specific event or occasion. They are specialized in cakes and cupcakes. Single year starts at $70 for 7 inch. Regular cupcakes are $40 and minis are $15 each. So, Contact Dekelisios about your ideas for your specialty cake and cupcakes by calling 784-431-8721 or send them an email at dklicious822 at gmail.com. Again, for your specialty cake and cupcakes, call Dekelisios at 784-431-8721 or by email D-K-L-I-C-I-O-U-S-822 at gmail.com. Oh yes, uh, we have now seen the resumption of play uh, between the technical and vocational division education, yeah, tools, and the division of general studies and sciences, uh, yeah, tools. So it's now with the yeah tools. They're not trying to go for that's the division of technical. Play to the keeper there who plays that one out nicely to find his right midfielder who can't choose nicely. Try to get that one in, finds Mac. Compton, Compton at least he turns in, finds this man, the back to Compton, he goes through. Nice one today, but overweighted pass. He goes into touch. It's going to be a throw in 
to the Division of Sciences and General Studies at the Villa campus. Yes, so, yes, it should take and it's now with the year uh, two's general studies. That one has been played too. Find this man, he can't choose. Find this man, they're playing around there. Find this man in the middle. They're knocking it quite nicely. Bit patient on this one. Try to get that one too. Still has some control, but luckily wins a free kick. Uh, throwing there, sorry. So, division of technical vacation here too. Trying to make some inroads here. And behind us here is a is a bit of shower. Yeah, a bit of shower there, but probably moving my way, so I have to probably make some adjustment. But it doesn't stop the rain. Bright sunshine down here, but to the back of me is a bit of cloud coverage, and you could hear the drops on the roofs away from us. Not sure if it reach us. It would reach us uh, over time, but it's going to be a free kick day to the technical vocational year too. Just about uh, off the edge of the 18, let's see. Kick taken to goal, headed away by defense. Uh, defense there, luckily for him, because that one was dropping away. The goalkeeper wasn't standing, but a clear one's coming here. Back to the technical division, and you see, Compton has this one. Compton tried to dally one. Deflects, went across, finds his man, though, however. They still have it. Shot and goal now, climbs at it. Oh, that one just barely eclipsed the crossbar there and into touch. The, the technical application here, too. Guys are really trying to make some inroads here on this one. So let's see. Still have a lot of time left in this one. We'll see what will, what will happen here. So while I try to make a bit of shift here, rain is now coming my way from behind. Uh, 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 uh. Just make try to make some adjustment here as to accommodate a bit of comfort. So it's now with the yeah, tools. Not, Come to play that one to find this man. Uh, get across there. Can he get that one across? He does so, but oh, oh the keeper he keeps his fingers, but was able to get it on a second bunk before it crosses the line. And they're trying to come through. So the, the, the technical guys are really making inroads now. For the, since the game has restarted about three or so minutes, uh, uh, they have been uh, living in the half, that half of the Division of Arts and Sciences and General Studies at the Villa Campus, uh, from the Villa Campus. And that's what Oh no, yeah, two technical has that one. Uh, wins a corner kick in the process, and it's going to be a corner kick to the technical team. Looking to score second. Oh, it's, it's going to be a goal kick. Goal kick. So the goal kick. To see, the Division of Sciences, they do have a complement of. Seven, find that one. Plays it over there. Flag stays down. This can be a good chance, but the player was running in while the ball's heading out. He can't show not find his man who that's an offside, but uh assistant not in line with that one, but win in a free kick there, a goal kick there are the players for the technical division. <laughs> I think on both occasions they those two players would have been offside, but the assistant was probably um set back a bit. But is it Technical team, they're now trying to go for a good touch there, but only just for the defense there. For the dads, a, a deflection coming there, and it's going to be a throw-in to the dads. They're now kicking from what will be the old airport end to the quarry end. That's uh, for those who are familiar with the sign of playing field. We, can, we know where the quarry end is. That's facing the Cable Wireless area, and the airport end is where... We had the old airport where there's um, a schools now being laid there and a, a shopping mall. But it's going to be a free kick there to the dads here too. Uh, because if they're defending now, they have more players, but they only have two players attacking. So maybe that's why they're losing. Shot and goal, high and hard over the crossbar. And it's going to be a goal kick to the technical and vocational and education from the technical division at the Cyan Hill area, Annasville, that is uh, just on the border of the Cyan Hill playing field. 
So they're leading two goals to one, and we'll see what they'll make with this pass. That one has been played, find this man who touches that back one, find this man quite nicely. He looks to come down, looking for some support, find this man number two, who didn't take it too nicely but turns in, yeah, has some support, he's now moving around, finds yeah, this man, yeah. they're trying to go forward. Please that one now to find this man. Come to, come to try to get that one across. Come to get past one. Come to get past two. Come to looking for some support. Come to still moving forward. Come to looking for some support. Come to play that one across. A real marshal is Compton for his team. And trying to get them to go forward, but it's now with number 13. Get that one forward to find this man who's on the flank side. That one stays down. He goes across, gets past one. Shot and goal in the onion sack. And uh, yes, we see the technical really, you know, really uh, making use of the passes. Settling down, passing along nicely, even though they do have two players less. And like I said before, the, this team has been really doing great stuff in terms of um, not too rushy or too pushy and getting the job done. Uh, so i get you a score for that one in a minute. Uh, it's the man with the red boots. Can't miss him for sure. So I'll give you his name. Shortly, a long man we play today. Oh my word. An attack coming in there. Flag stays down. But an offside call. <laughs> offside call there. So it's the number 10, I think, is it for the technical invocation? Number 10, Ronaldo John. Yes, he has added his name to the list. So we have Ronaldo John scoring one. Cal Young scoring another. But he scored the first one, and uh, they, uh, Compton scoring a penalty for the that. So they're leading three goals to one over over the the division of Arts and General Studies, who started the score, opened the scoring with one goal. Now they're down, they're down with three. And another one, another chance. Hey, can he keep it in? Yes, he keeps it in. Looking at support, gets past his man one day again. Turns back inside. Looking at support, finds it, finds. Uh, Compton, Compton still has some control. Compton come through now. Compton gets past one, two, three. Compton still has it. Plays that one across and looking for the man to get on to it. You take a shot. Oh, high and hard. Uh, high and hard. Way what that one was. And the, the technical invocation had really had a chance there of going further, making further inroads into to the dads. And that one was kicked away and into touch over the goal line for another goal kick. So it's technical and vocational, reading three goals to one over the dads. 3-1. So that one has been played through there now and a deflection coming there. So it's now with the year twos. Technical, we see Compton now making some inward. Compton get past one. Can he get in? Play that one across by this man who goal, goal, goal. And Compton really marshalling his forces. Compton, uh, I'll have to find out if Compton is, between, is in the national lineup at some point. And we see another goal coming there. Uh, four goals as against one. The team coming from behind. Number. So the number two there, getting his name on the scorecard in Monroe. Monroe uh, scoring the fourth goal there for the technical team. They have come from behind and scoring four goals over the dads. Uh, yeah, two. A long ball play today, deflected there again. And they still has some control. Dad's trying to go, go forward. Dad's going forward again. Play that one to find his man intercepted. It's now with the player there for dad's year too. You know, trying to come through, looking to get the name and play that one to find his man who is never in a position to receive it properly. He always has to go back. And I want to play it back now. They're going back. Let's see. Let's open up, find this man. Comes inside, get that one across. Long ball, long field. If that's a oh, offside call, that's going to be a kicking to.
and it's now we're there Tuesday. So technical application can go forward. Long one being played across. Really, really doing well. Played the one across again. Find this man. Oh, lovely ball there by um, Compton, but straight to the man there. Compton in a tussle and a ch challenge comes in there. Referee makes the call on that one. You have song challenge coming there and the part of number six player there for the technical team and it's going to be a it's going to be a another kick in there to the dads so it's now long kick taken down field there looking for a fifth goal uh the technical educational team but wrapped over there by the defense for the, for the dads he's now trying to move to put that one across Away from his man, but picks up another player who has a touch onto that one. He's running onto it. That one to be a lovely, deceptive play there. Turns back, finds the number 11. And puts that one shoot to find his man. Turns inside. Uh, rubbed away there. It's now with the dad's te technical application. He turns out, oh, finds his man. Really playing comfortable. He's looking for the players there. He plays that man down, down the line there, but over with the pass. That one goes to the keeper who collects and is trying to come through. Plays that one to find his right wing back. Whistle blows, what for? I'm not sure. Was it an offside? No, did that ball probably would have crossed the goal line. So it's a goal kick. Ball's being played now, it comes in. The right wing back has it. He's trying to move forward. Put that one downfield. Intercepted there. It's now with Compton. Compton, the playmaker. Lobbed that one over again to find the goal scorer. He didn't take that too nicely, but has some control. And John comes in, tries to turn. Still has some control. Finds the number 11 player now. Put that one forward to his left. Goes to get past one. Uh, clear ones coming there. That defender decided he's not, not going to have none of that. You get past one, two, you wouldn't be passing me. And a clear ones comes there and it goes into touch for another throwing to the technical and vocational team here, to those who are leading uh, this encounter. At the sign of the playing field, in the same as when he's coming to college, Invasion of Football Championship, four goals to one. And it's a challenge on here now. That one comes in. Now, can he get that one in? Get that one. Lovely finishing there. Lovely finishing on the part of number 15 there. He actually opened up himself there and um, played that one through and uh, was able to get that one over and pass the overkeeper's head. And uh, good play here on the part of um, the dad's. Year two, that's the Division of General Studies, Science and General Studies at the Villa Campus over the Division of Technical and Vocational Education. Year twos at the Annsville playing field. Those are the ones who are closer to the playing field and they are leading now. That's the Technical Vocational. Uh, they're leading by four goals to two over the Division of Arts and General Studies. So now they're playing a, a much black. No? They goes again. Does he have the pace? And if the defender tries to play that, he gets it over the line. He's being challenged. Let's see. He tries to turn inside, but the assistant says it's a foul from behind. When you kick here, uh, the lads from the division of sciences. And as I would have tried, I would try to say earlier on that um, so it's going to be a long weekend here. We're going to be having a half day tomorrow. My little friend here, Ryan John, he's he'll be welcome that half day, <laughs> as he will be with me here uh, in the commentary to give me some support. But let's see this one again. The goal scorer has that one. He comes in. Let's see. He has that one. Hold up. He tried to come across. He does look for some support. He turns back. Finds this man. Yes. Let's see. Uh, he scored the first goal. He tried to come through. Now he comes to get past one coming across. Oh, doing probably too much work at this time. He gets, comes in looking to get that one across, gets it across. Defense out the keeper hand, but was able to take it on a second or third time. And collapses on that one and uh, good for him. Some good practicing, but kicks that one out. Can his player keep it in? It drops one. He was able to keep it in uh, and the flag goes up outside. It's going to be a train. So the division of sciences are now trying to see if they can pull one, pull two goals back to equalize and maybe looking for a third to go forward. So the challenge is now on. Let's see the attacker comes in here. General Studies has that one, but cleared away there. It's only from that one straight to the player. Shot come and goal here. It was into touch. And it's going to be a goal kick to 
the technical division, year tools, and um, as I was saying, we're going to be a weekend here, so tomorrow we're going to be back at the Sand Hill playing field to view and listen to more live coverage of the Simmons Grandis Community College Invitation of Football Championship 2023. Uh, long weekend, I said, a lot of activities, a lot of biking activities. Um, I know for sure car racing and the likes. Um, that's a part of the sporting. And um, other activities in various places. As I say, a long weekend indeed. Um, Saturday is, is, is also a, a business day, but um, flag stays down, player appealing for offside, no. And I wanted to play to deflect it there. It's now with another player comes in, because the goal scorer, let's see. He holds it up, looking for some support. Finds his man. They play it outside there, he comes across. Only two as far as the number 11 for technical communication. He puts that one down field now. Finds his man. Uh, can he keep it in? Yes, he does. He opens up now, trying to come across. He comes in, gets past one, gets past two. Taken away there by the, de the defender there for the year twos. Compton has that one. Compton plays that one over to find his man. Compton plays that one across. The player has that one. Can he get past the defender? He fakes, get past the defender. No, partially. But the keeper came out and collects. And it's going to be a uh, continuation of play here. So the dad's yeah, sciences has it. He's trying to come forward. Player plays that one across to find his man who controls. Can he find somebody to send through? Yes, he does. On the far side. Player flag stays down. That player holds it up. The goal scorer, he comes inside, finds his man. Let's see. Can he get it across? No, they're playing a most, more relaxing, comfortable game, looking to find that extra player to, to drive through. But um, the task was too heavy for him there, the number 11. Taken away by number 11 for the opposing team. They're now trying to move forward in Matt Dowell. Goes to two. So the dads, the technical application, those are the ones in blue. They are leading four goals over the lads in red from the Division of Sciences at the college compound. The flag goes up, offside call, and it's going to be a free kick to technical and vocational year twos. That's the guys at the Villa campus over the guys which is technical and vocational education year twos at the Annesville Sand Hill campus. Long kick down field, that's for number 11, he controls, uh, stumbled a bit. He's down, the referee caught all He's that player for the dads is going to be a free kick to the technical position. So it's going to be a free kick. Number 11 has it. Man who got fouled. So they, they, they still have nine players. Shot taken, they deflected. And taken over there by the go for score there for the challenges there. A challenge comes to there and a Big tussle comes in there, number 15. Getting his body between there, but the referee thinks it was an unfair challenge. And he issues a care to number uh, 15 there. Number 15 there for the technical and vocational. Uh, quite a, an interesting move there. And nothing wrong with that. Uh, if you think you can win the advantage, you can fall. But luckily for him, he to be able to stay on the field of play. So number 11 now for technical has that. Kick the goal there, keeper, catch it. <laughs> or tries to catch with um, a gripping motion there. And he gripped that, tried to grip. And uh, into touch over the goal line for a corner kick to be awarded to the dads here too. Who started open scoring here. And now they are trailing from behind, looking to get a third goal on this corner. And definitely we have to find a fourth in order for them to be victorious in this one. And even though they have majority players, they're still lagging behind. Kick comes across. The, uh, that one came off the post. That one came off the post. So it's from the post onto his hand, apparently. But into touch over the goal line. So it's going to be another goal kick there to the technical invocation and education at the St. Annesville campus. Uh, leading four goals to two in this encounter. Being played at the Cyan Hill playing field. Uh, the same in Grandis Community College Invitational Football Championship 2023, the eighth edition. A long kick down field finds Compton, the playmaker for his team. Plays that one back to find his right wing back. He controls, gets past one man, plays it to find Compton. Compton now going on a trot. Compton has that one. A long ball long field is Compton to find his man. A bit overweighted pass there. And the player, uh, player goes down there. 
as he might have collided with that player who was advancing for the technical and the referee has to go there maybe he got touched somewhere in the lower abdomen or maybe around the groin area so referee's making some assessment now the question to him is would you be able to make it can you she's on his feet so having a second attempt there's going to be a drop ball there there's going to be a drop ball there to the dads he collects from the referee number 11 has that one a lofted one around there looking for some support that one get got past his man there but a challenge come to the player was able to stick his legs between that one got a notch onto that one finds his man though straight to number 10 the goal scorer he's trying to go forward now let's see a long chase there he gets inside a shot on goal there a bit selfish to on the part there um had an advantage or had three players trailing he had um um, that's Compton, who inside he could have maybe passed to or take a different trajectory on that ball and put it up from the keeper who was coming more to his left, looking for the right side um, corner, but that wasn't to be. It climbed over the crossbar and into touch for another goal kick. I want is taken over the now. He's trying to come forward. The uh, two sciences, they're now trying to come forward. Another one playing across there, but that one was too much to the keeper this time. And he collects, kicks that one forward, looking for some support. Only just for that player who took it down, took it down. But Compton was there first. Compton plays it back to his man. They're now playing a, a little ding dong battle. Here. Compton plays that one out to find his man who's running now. And can he get there? Who gets there first? The defender got there first, avoided the danger. He's trying to come across. He deflected there. And he loses that one out. The player for technical has that one. He's fighting, but loses the battle. It's now with the year. Uh, Two sciences coming forward. He was that will get past, got past one man trying to come head on the ground, and that has to be an offside. That has to be offside. Has to be offside. That player was there waiting in that one, and he had the advantage. He could have he chose to come inside and play to the two men who were in an onside position, or even taking it himself and come to there. But that wasn't to be, and it's going to be a free kick to Dad's technical vocational who gets that one in. A toss of coming in, the player goes down. The clearance there, it goes around, it looks like around the corner flag. So that may just be a corner, but we wait where the assistant is on, on her corner. So it tells me that there's going to be a corner kick to the technical official. And just to remind you that we have international football here again um, on Friday at the Annaville playing field. The Lady Heat will be taking on Barbados, I think it is. Uh, Let's see, let's see this one. There's a build up coming here. It's nobody does yet. And a shot there by Compton. Intention was good. Um, a better strike would have done it. And uh, that wasn't to be. So it's going to be a goal kick there to the dads here, too. And uh, yes, uh, there's women international football at the, uh, the uh, Arnsville playing field. We laid the heat. The lasses of the Vincentian uh, senior team will be taking on. I think it's Barbie. That's uh, that to be confirmed. Uh, I'm checking on my assistant here. He doesn't seem to know this one. I, I, I depend on him sometimes, but not this evening. <laughs> so the year two's uh, science, they're trying to come forward. That player tried to get to those players there. I, I, I don't see why he has to try to do that because they do have more players. And he's trying to take it down a little bit. A long pass there for Compton. Overweighted and goes to the keeper who collects. Didn't miss any time. He tried to get that down to his man. It drops. Can he keep it in? No. It goes into touch. It's going to be a throwing there to technical vocational who are leading this encounter four goals to two over the guys at the villa campus so a player has left the field i'm not sure if he has referee's permission but he's now off let's see we we'll, we we'll see what happened after that and the tackle those down there players on the floor but the dads yeah two trying to get that one And that's the end of the game there. I'm sure this player is gonna should have been cautioned because I, I'm thinking he, that he would have walked off the field of play. But referee's permission. And um maybe citing the time was under that's the end of the game. Just check my clock. <laughs> my clock has 16 minutes to go. Not sure what would be the referee's thing out there. So it's technical and vocational education, the the Annesville campus leading two goals sorry four goals to two over the the 
does that is the Division of Arts, Science and General Studies at the Villa Campus. There, don't you have two goals, one by Elmando Henry and the other by Devante McDowell. The goals for the technical vocational came from Kyle Young, uh, Ronaldo John, we have David Compton, and the other by Jeval Moore. So it's the technical vocation leading one winning this game, four goals to two over the guys from the Villa Campus, the Sciences. And uh, we'll now turn to get some a few words from the persons who have invested in the youths in bringing commentary from the side of the playing field in the St. Vincent Grandis Community College Invitational Football Championship 2023, the eighth edition of this competition being organized by the faculty at the Villa Campus. So we now have some commercials from our sponsors. You're ready, ready, ready? Yes. Wait now. All you sure? All you ready? For the big bad national lotteries. Unique touch soccer. SVG Community College. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Going down October 10th to November 17th. Come see the best of Jebel Youth. Hope International. System 3. Dax Year 1 and Year 2. Avenues Youth. Associates combined. DTVE. Year 1 and Year 2. Med Unit and Sports Science. Last year, we brought you football under the lights at the Honest Vale playing field. This year, we're bringing you an explosion of much more action. Action that can only be found at the National Lotteries. You need to sucker. SVG Community College. In, 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 in. Invitational Football Championship 2023. You're ready, ready, ready? Yes. Wait now. All you sure? All you ready? For the big bad national lotteries. Unique touch soccer. SVG Community College. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Going down October 10th to November 17th. Come see the best of Jebel Youth. Hope International. System 3. Dad, year 1 and year 2. Avenues Youth. Associates combined. DTVE. Year 1 and year 2. Med Unit and Sports Science. Last year, we brought you football under the lights at the Honest Vale playing field. This year, we're bringing you an explosion of much more action. Action that can only be found at the National Lotteries. You need to sucker. SVG Community College. In, 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 in. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in St. Vincent, we're having the massive 5,000 US dollars. Yes, you got that right, 5,000 US dollars. My Smart Toilet Seat, Table Tennis Series, Invitational Club Championships. Ooh. This winner-takes-all group to knockout style tournament would be held daily from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. From the 30th of October to the 4th of November. Wow, that's six days of hardcore table tennis. Teams are invited from Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, Canada, St. Lucia, Dominica, USA, and your very own St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Each of the preliminary rounds will be held at the NDP headquarters. Opposite the St. Vincent's Girls High School, Kingstown, admission $5. And the final showdown will be hosted at the Western George Secondary School in Bel Air, admission $20. Food and beverages will be on sale. Don't miss this grand event. Looking for something local to eat and yet affordable, but don't want to go too far? Then check out the local one. Owned and operated by Wall of Sand Hill's very own at Sand Hill Junction. We have burgers, chow mein, chicken and fries, sodas and local fruit juices. We even have pepper sauce made right here in Sand Hill. Come taste and enjoy our finger-licking food at the local one.
Looking for a unique specialty design for that special occasion? Look no further. At Dick Elysius, they specialize in endless possibilities. They can bring your ideas to life and provide you with a unique cake created for your specific event or occasion. They are specialized in cakes and cupcakes. Single year starts at $70 for 7 inch. Regular cupcakes are $40 and minis are $15 each. So, Contact Dekelisios about your ideas for your specialty cake and cupcakes by calling 784-431-8721 or send them an email at dklicious822 at gmail.com. Again, for your specialty cake and cupcakes, call Dekelisios at 784-431-8721 or by email D-K-L-I-C-I-O-U-S-822 at gmail.com. Island Style Souvenir and Clothing Store. We carry everything you need in souvenirs. T-shirts in all different sizes. Caps, keychains, key rings, plaques and banners, magnets, ID holders, mugs, and we even carry St. Vincent flag. And that's not all. We carry Hawaiian style t-shirts and dresses. Handbags with matching scarves. We also carry tie-dye dresses, shirts and tops. Everything in our store are made right here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So come on over and check us out. We are located at the cruise ship Birth in Kingstown. Our telephone number 784-583. 6338. That number again is 784 593 6338. It's Island Style. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds of cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. Bay Hill News Network is an internet radio. We are affiliate with Fun City Radio USA, Can Cardi Radio, and Success Radio Canada and Blaze Nation Media Group. You can find Bay Hill News Network at www.bayhillnews.net. Yes! You ready, ready, ready? Yes! Wait now! All you sure, all you ready? For the Big Bad National Lottery! Unique Kutsaka! SVG Community College! Invitational Football Championship 2023! Going down October 10th to November 17th! Come see the best of Jabel Youth! Hope International! System 3! Dash Year 1 and Year 2! Avenues Youth! Associates Combined! DTVE! Year 1 and Year 2! Med Unit and Sports Science! Last year, we brought you football under the lights at the Honestvale Plain Field. This year, we're bringing you an explosion of much more action. Action that can only be found at the National Lotteries. You need to sucker. SVG Community College. In, 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 in. Invitational Football Championship 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in St. Vincent, we're having the massive 5,000 US dollars. Yes, you got that right, 5,000 US dollars. My Smart Toilet Seat, Table Tennis Series, Invitational Club Championships. Ooh. This winner-takes-all group to knockout style tournament would be held daily from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. From the 30th of October to the 4th of November. Wow! That's six days of hardcore table tennis. Teams are invited from Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia, Dominica, USA, and your very own St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Each of the preliminary rounds will be held at the NDP headquarters. Opposite the St. Vincent Girls High School, Kingstown, admission $5. And the final showdown will be hosted at the Western George Secondary School in Bel Air, admission $20. Food and beverages will be on sale. Don't miss this grand event. Looking for something local to eat and yet affordable, but don't want to go too far? Then check out the local one. Owned and operated by Wall of Sign Hill's very own at Sign Hill Junction. We have burgers, chow mein, chicken and fries, sodas and local fruit juices. We even have pepper sauce made right here in Sign Hill. Come taste and enjoy our finger licking food at the local one. Looking for a unique specialty design for that special occasion? 
of order at Decalicious that specialize in endless possibilities. They can bring your ideas to life and provide you with a unique cake created for your specific event or occasion. They are specialized in cakes and cupcakes. Single year starts at $70 for 7 inch. Regular cupcakes are $40 and minis are $15 each. So, Contact Decalicious about your ideas for your specialty cake and cupcakes by calling 784-431-8721 or send them an email at dklicious822 at gmail.com. Again, for your specialty cake and cupcakes, call Decalicious at 784-431-8721 or by email D-K-L-I-C-I-O-U-S-822 at gmail.com. Island Style Souvenir and Clothing Store. We carry everything you need in souvenirs. T-shirts in all different sizes. Caps, keychains, key rings, plaques and banners, magnets, ID holders, mugs, and we even carry St. Vincent flag. And that's not all. We carry Hawaiian style t-shirts and dresses. Handbags with matching scarves. We also carry tie-dye dresses, shirts and tops. Everything in our store are made right yep. here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So come on over and check us out. We are located at the cruise ship Birth in Kingstown. Our telephone number 784 593-6338. That number again on 784-593-6338. It's Island Star. Yes, so we are back at Southern Field this afternoon in the uh view to our viewers and listeners uh, country through the Hill Network of the Simmons Grandin's Community College Invitational Football Championship. Uh, uh, this encounter this evening, the final encounter of this afternoon will be between Technical Vocational Year 1s. They become up against Jubel Youths, the defending champions of 2022. <clears throat> and as like I said earlier on, they've been playing quite an exemplary standard of football here. And we see the number 10 player for Jubel, who so have been a prolific scoper, Kamal Griffith. <clears throat> there. Guys are uh, very good youth indeed, um, being marshaled by the technical director, uh, Theon God, also the national coach at present. Uh, they are doing his team jewels, they are out here this evening and uh, will be maintaining their dominance in this competition. They are now, I think this is their third game. Are preparing for a start. A bit of contrast in here in that the number, the ref, the assistants are in uh, yellow, which is to me very close to the um, audio. So it's now with uh, Jubels taking a kickoff. They, they're now with um, Jubels. They're playing it across field from left to right. That one deflects. They was able to keep it in. So it's now with um, Jubels. That player turns outside trying to forward. But a hard pass forwarded into touch is going to be uh, chewing, chewing there to the... Technical year one. It's now a train there. It's now with the year ones. Choose to go back. Looking quite comfortable. This one Please finds his goalkeeper who loves that one long pass or looking for a searching ball. Trying to find it's no man land. It's into touch over the goal line. Goal line. Touch line that is for a train. So it's now been taken down there <clears throat> from going from right to left is the defense for Jebez. He wanted to be played for that player can't choose. Comes through the center, rubbed over there, but now changes position. It comes across field from left, from right to left. <clears throat> so I tried to get that one down field, but only as far as the play the four year ones. He can't choose. A big man comes in there to try and avoid the dangerous number 11 has that one. He holds up 
because I'm supposed to find this man a nice little touch on the edge there. He has two players to contend with. He gets through one. Nice one today. Let's see. Goes in. Find this man on the outside. Flags goes up. Uh, an offside call. And uh, it's going to be a free kick there to the that zero one. So I do have with me this evening a budding uh, commentator. He is part of my academy as well. And I have to get these players. It, I, actually, you know, it's a good thing for for us in the, in this country. And let's see this one first. They say Jubal trying to go forward on this one. That one comes back across. A shot going to be taken. No, a shot are taken. And it goes to the back of the net. So Jubal's open the scoring here by virtue of the player number seven in Java Odin. Java Odin, a prolific scorer um, in this tournament thus far. And Jubal goes up one goal to nil over technical application of the year one so as i said i have a button and it's uh, before let me say i think it's all it's all good that we start teaching our footballers the right thing as in europe um, i make reference to england we do have um when the players go out you have them to be doing little um in-house you do the little training to meet how to meet the media and these other things so it's a good thing for us to start in this country where we have even the national teams there are players who are afraid to approach the mic captains and all these other sort of things but let's see one build up coming here by jibbles again let's see before we get into the talk, talk of things and it goes into touch so i'm introducing this evening my co-host uh to this commentary booth in uh, the junior john junior i said junior and roxel john it's uh what's your name again sir Good afternoon, everybody, and good afternoon, Mr. Gurley. My name is Orion John. So, Mr. John, Orion John, I uh, say to me, um, feel free, Orion, to make your little bit of comments as to anything you see. And uh, I'm here as your coach who will also try to correct you, you know, and to make things work for us this evening. So, glad to have you. Okay. Thank so, you. So as we look on on the game, they keep our eyes on the ball and yes. you know what happens. If you feel to take a little bit of running commentary as well. You're not familiar with the name, so you can just say, yeah, ones are the ones in two. That's the technical vocational and neon colors are uh, Jibel. So Jibel's given a chase here, and number two has it. Back to his keeper, who controls. He can next open up, play that one to his right. Uh, the man who just received from him is back in the center now to look for number six, who controls. He chose to go through to find number 10, but deflected off a player there for the dad's year, the technical vocational year one. He plays that one nice flick on there, finds this man. Playing a bit too close, so he comes inside. Looking for some support, he turns back to find his man. Plays that one across to find Car. Car plays that one on to find his man. He can't choose. A bit too far though. See that some country. Plays that one to find his man. A chase comes on here. Shot and goal there by the big man there. The number uh let's see the number number, number eight, eight. Who it's um or Tegan Anton and he tries a, a big shot there uh, to at least let the keeper know that he's in for business. Just goes into touch for a goal kick to the Jebels who are leading one goal to nil in this encounter. Yes, so live coverage of football action in the St. Vincent Grandin's Community College Invitational Football Championship 8th edition being built at the playing field. So it's now with Jebels, they're trying to come forward. Jebels plays that one to a lovely ball there, finds this man on the, on the left wing and flag goes up for offside. I'm not sure from where he's standing there to where the assistant is standing over there. It looks like a diagonal call there for me. And um, you know one thing I will wish that we do in these competitions, and I'll, I'll have to ask Mr. John because I think I hear him make mention of cutting up the field. Let's see, yeah, two, yeah, one trying to go through technical and vocational. Let's see, he's been robbed over there. They're still trying to come forward now. Run, play across to find this man. He turns outside, find this man quite nicely. The player runs on to it, a good touch. Let's see what he make up this one. He wins a throwing in the process. It's now with Kia. Kia has that one. Try to get to his man. A bit too close though, but he's able to find his man quite nicely. This defender steps off. Collects, plays that one further to his right. Uh, deflect can come there. Only to the part of Jibels, but rubbed away again. Yet, yeah, one's technical try to go through the keeper. Goes down, collects quite nicely. Has to make a second attempt at it. It came out of his grasp and it goes with the keeper. He bows that one out to find his right wing back. Who opens up. Opens up. He comes across. Now, trying to get that one in the middle. Find his... Central uh, defender, he plays that one across from left to right. 
We see that player now trying to go through that one over the top there. Find this man who's not running on. Let's see. Number nine has that one. He goes across. Heads up. Gets across. There. Oh, that one eludes two or three players. And a shot come and go there. Deflection looking for penalty. Plays that one in. Another shot and go there. The keeper was able to come in there in arms with him. Block that one. Making a brilliant save. But it's now with Jibbles again. Looking for searching for the second goal. We see, we see the, the, the national coach there and technical writer put his hand on his head after that, that player. Looking to well, wondering why, why, did, why did that not go in. So it's now with Jibbles now. They are starting from behind again. Trying to move forward. Been a more relaxing game this evening. They now move to even though the leading one was that one being played for all day, but only as far as the keeper who goes out and collects and is hoping to get it one going. Let's see. He kicks. Only as far as that midfielder for Jebel, who plays that one back to find the central defender. Him, we know him as Blacks. He turns left from left to right. Plays that one across. Far across to find this man who collects off chest. He deflects into touch for a throw in to Technical application. Quick to take in that player, try to turn in, but only as far as the defender he controls, trying to come wrong. He's still um, champion there. The player was able to get across. A challenge comes in there. Uh, a living dangerously there, but Jibbers walked their way out. They're now moving forward. That was being played to find this man on a shot. Let's see, he goes around. Two players collide. Um, come from another one. Another one being played forward. The flag stays down. Oh my word. Uh, taking his eyes off that one at the last moment and he goes into touch for a corner kick to be taken by Jibbers. It seems to me as Jibels have dropped their guard as they have won the last few matches because the players from the opposing team are now penetrating deeper into their defense than before and they are missing or making mistakes more often than they usually do. Yeah, a good observation indeed because they have been winning their, their last of the games and I think what happened for them in this game, they, from one of my observations, what I've saw, the warm-up was not as rigid as they are accustomed to. Corner comes in, let's see. Clearance coming there by the part of here. Two no, yeah, ones for technical implication. I'm trying to find this man there. He's reaching in. Going to the a player for technical. He's robbed over there. He's trying to come forward. He said he has control. Please, I want to find this man. He control turns inside. Forward or right. Good football. He's trying to advance that one. Now he comes down the line there. Good play. Finds car. Car searching for man. Car finds this man who was in offside position, though. But it was intercepted there by Jubels. They have no turn. Changing their guard. Find this man there, plays it back, try to turn inside, find this man there, we're playing a one-two, but it mix up, but I avoided the danger, but it's now with the uh, one still trying to come forward, a bit of ding-dong battle there, that ball deflected off a player there, the defense has to come in and clear that one there, made a mock of it, a try, another challenge goes in there, number two, Javed goes forward there, let's see, shot and goal, oh, poor shooting again, straight to the keeper, as in um, Java Odin again, uh, has a lot of goals here, could have gone two up there, could have scored a brace, could have scored a brace there, but he failed to score, and that's what happens um, in games. The keeper was standing there, he had the, the width of the goal where he can put it on either side, but he chose to kick it straight to the keeper, who did well to, to avoid a goal being scored there. So it's now with Jibels, they're trying to move forward. Play that one back to find the right wing back. Settling themselves in, looking for, trying to draw the guys there from the technical vacation out. It's now with Blacks. Blacks find that one to find number 15. That's one of the invited, team, invited teams and defending champion. Long ball being played across field. That player was advancing. The flag goes up now for an offside call against the Jibbles team. And there is going to be a kick in to the technical and vocational yeah, yeah, ones. So, Mr. John, you have some visiting ladies here. Good afternoon to you, lovely ladies. Oh, from the college, nice to uh, have you around. Oh, from Red Street Department, so we can look for some money, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the organizer of this competition, Mr. Roxel John, the father of Orion John, my co commentator here. I'm um, just bringing some people from his registry department, as we've been told, to view what is taking place here so they know that the money is being spent quite wisely <laughs> and there is nothing that has been um, applied for, it's not a fix to. The application. Yes. So Jibel is not on a shot. Let's see. This Souza, not this Souza. Griffith. Griffith comes in. Come on, Griffith. But please, that one was one away there by the the the, 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 the defense there for. But rubbed away there. Now it's now with the defense there for. Jibel is trying to get that one forward. Turn inside that. Uh, is Jaffa Odin again. Finds his man number ten. A shot and goal there. Um, 
that number 10 player there in Kamal Griffith looking to get his name on the scorecard. He's a perfect scorer, always been scoring, yeah. but I think a bit too far this time. He probably still is getting his, his engine oiled properly because he's really a mover um, when he's on his foot. That, that ball had a bit too much power with it, but what I saw, if it had a little less power and could have actually gone into the goal, I believe it would have beaten the keeper. Yes, well, the, uh, maybe a bit too much power, as you said, and it, that one climbing over. Had it um, been directed more between the goal bars, I think, too, as you said, it, it would have gone between, the, as your dad would say, the onion sack. <laughs> so it's uh, Jubel winning a show there, but reflected again for another show into Jubel's. Uh, the final encounter of this evening, uh, play between Jubel's, the defending champion, a long show there by the number... 15 is a player for a little man. He has a lot of power and a chance coming here. And another goal here on the part of Jibels. Uh, took my eye off a bit. It looks like it's the number, number 11 player. So you keep an eye on that goal score over there. Make sure that we have the right numbers. As one player was alluding to the fact that a player scored a goal that we thought that we didn't see. But I think we did have it covered from the officials. I did make sure that this, the goal scorer... Was the goal scorer number eleven? Um, number told. eleven, Christopher Lewis. Yes, Christopher Lewis. Put his name on the scorecard. So it's now with uh, technical application at year one. Let's see that player has that nice long, long, longy player. Try to find his man does so. A challenge comes in here. He wins it over though. Try to go forward. Turns inside. Gets past one. Loses it out now. Doing a bit too much there this time. And he's taken over there, but only to as far as. Uh, yeah, one player that one would look to, looking to find Ocean Care. Ocean Care tried to get behind that. Uh, playing from behind. Uh, but there's uh, free kick. No, it was averted. Uh, so it's now with Jabba Odin. A long ball, long field. Given Griffith. Griffith loves a, a quick runner. He gets past one. He moves inside. And he's been fouled. And that, is it only, he gets up. Oh, get that one across. Oh, my word. Um, Griffith, really. I'll get to that commentary in a, in a moment for what happened there. So it's now with Jibel Shani go forward. Finds this man inside. In Odin, rubbed over there, and a foul committed there. The referee says no, allowing a bit too much tackling to go to. Deflection is going to be a call to Jibels. No, what happened there? Um, if I remember, Griffith, it looks, it looked like took that one up. Could have gotten past the the goalkeeper and probably tried to score there, but Griffith really took his knowing Griffith. That should have been in in, in the onion sir. Yes. Really took his eyes off of that one. He was fouled. He could have easily won a penalty. But he got up and tried and tried again. And had a second attempt for one of his players and a lofted pass there. A big corner that is hanging in the wind. Headed by the one of the defenders there back in. But cleared away there now avoiding the, avoiding the danger. Uh, There's the player for the year uh, ones. Technical. Kia got a deflection into that one. Kia trying to punch forward. But only to as far as the defender, defender who played it back to find his goalkeeper. That is Jebel's. Plays that one to his, to our, his right. Finds his right wing back. He chooses to come forward. A long one day to find the number six midfielder who tried to flick that one on. But finds his number 10 player in Griffith. Griffith controls. That one has been played through there. Finds this man quite nicely. Who controls. Hold up number five. Turns around. Looking for that assault. He goes forward now. Finds the number 15. Flag stays down. He can try to get that one across. A good cross indeed. Two players are coming in. They have to run back to see if to retrieve that one. Which they did. A player tried to come to the turns and a flick there to looking for his man. That should have been he that one back now, that player who's coming from in my opinion and after position. And he's now with the, the player there for the technical vocation, but only as far as the defense there for Jebelza. Long ball coming deflection there. Finds his man who turns back again. Back to the defense. Good football. Let's begin again. From the way he will play that one. Find the man blacks. Black plays it. Moving from central defense to left wing back. I love the one over there looking for Griffith. You know, number 11 looked like it's a bit hard. And it went into touch over the goal line for another corner kick. Sorry, another goal kick to the year ones. <clears throat> so year ones, now, not playing too bad this evening, but I um, need to tighten up on things a bit more because the Jebel team really not going to be taking any chances here. And... They really um, stamping their authority as to what happens when you're playing football. You have to be in charge from the get-go, and it's ahead of there by 
the big defender number 24 chess coming down there by java odin strike fighting hard a, a big fighter indeed and he loses that one out now ocean care finds his man he plays that one two to find his man the ocean care trying to get that one a bit overweighted past there and care was too slow to get to that one it's going to be a train by number 15 there for jibbles in antoine antoine finds uh, number 24 player there in blacks as we call him but it doesn't have and Jibel trying to go forward again there. Please, that one to find him. 11 cars goes the call. A lovely shot there taken though. Looking for keepers coming to the front post. Looking for the back post. There was another follow-up. And it goes over the goal line for another goal kick to the year one. Technical vocation of the year ones. And as we have been seeing, uh, I say Black Sea has 24. And there is no number 24 on my card. Because these players apparently have been changing up their numbers. But we'll see what happens. So it's now with the year two's challenge comes in here by the defense there for number 11 player there for Jebel. But take now with a swing coming in there, deflected there. Another take over there by Jebel, but blocked over there. It's now with the year two, year one's technical. That player who started inside now opens up, finds his man inside. Trying to get that one across. The player was not in there. The lovely ball across there. Move with it pass. Only to as far as the keeper. Comes off of like the lines and collect. Who that one out is number 15? No, but it take now over there by number six. Looking to go forward, number six has that one. Changing his direction. Holds that one up. Put that one across to find the men on the right side of the field for Jebel, who are always landing free. Try jab out Odin, who controls. Didn't take that one too nicely. He came off his feet and went straight into the keeper's hand, who collects. He kicks downfield to find blocks, who controls that one. Not that the best, but was able to get it to the second attempt. Jamal Griffith has that one. He moves inside. Griffith. Labs that one over to find his man who's running on from behind there. He takes a touch and a lovely goal there. Good finish there. Number 11. Number 11 there. He's having a brace this evening here. And Christopher Lewis playing from my observation more like a left midfielder. Right midfielder, sorry. He went across there. Um, with good speed. Odin, um, that is Griffith, saw him really in that move. And Odin lifting that one over the defense. Onto right part that's about the edge of the 18 he running straight on and finishing it there in the right corner that is away from the keeper and it's three goals to nil jubel's leading in this encounter in my opinion if the division of technical vocational education was more organized they could have easily gotten at least two goals by now because, as I said before, the Jebel's team is looking sloppier than yeah, their previous that's, matches. That's true. They, they're playing much more sloppier in truth, indeed. But um, a better, better organized uh, year ones would have, should have done better. And it's now year one. They're trying to go forward up flag stays down. But the referee saying there was a foul from behind. And another pun being played today. Let's see number two. Uh, that player... Um, that one eluded him, eluded him, and had he got a contact into that, but that, that might have spelled danger for Jubel. But trying hard is number eight player there for the year ones in Ortega Nantan. And it's now with the year ones. The after one, they're looking for Ortega Nantan, who's in offside position, walking out after, after, after having hit, hit, hit the deck. They able to get back up, walking out slowly. Maybe he might have had a little pong or feel a bit of lazy there. But it's very good, uh, cool condition at the side of the playing field here. The sun has left us, it was out in all its glory. Um, on this side of the country, but no other mud, the northern tip we observed a lot of rains. I was told even from Kingston down. So we know what back side Hill playing field. We see, um, we see oh, uh, Griffith taking that one, find Blacks. Blacks can't find his man back to Blacks, who can't choose. Jebel is now really moving that ball around. A lofted one over to find his go change up to find his right wing back. He, that player took that one up, finds it. He's running backwards, finds his man who can't choose. Bringing trying to draw them out there. You hear the comments coming from the, the, the coach there. That one's been pretty fine, Griffith. Griffith now trying to go forward there. Finds number 15. Number 15 now, he's going to laugh that one over. Deflected there off the defense there. He tries again. Uh, he's now with. Um, it looks like Omar. Omar, but the last that one and try to get the one you to find. It looks like Jam. Odin. Odin tries that one and a good hand there. He should have been crossing that one. Two players are coming out of that, but Odin tried to uh, score his own goal and that one came off. Uh, the, the player there, the keeper collected, and now with with Jibels again, trying to mount another attack. We see the year uh, ones laying back, actually not coming forward. That player now has this was a, Griffith has that one. Did get that pass one over the top now to find 
Odin. Odin on a trot now. Let's see, looking for his third goal. Odin get that one across, but too high and hard. It goes over it's into touch account to the assistant. So it's going to be a gold kick to the year one's uh, technical and vocational. And I said earlier on, there's going to be a lot of activities here on the Independence Weekend, the 44th edition that is. If you could observe, or but not observe, but from sitting where I'm here, the old airport is now lose those as a racetrack, so to speak, where a lot of motor vehicle owners do some time trial from time to time, and you can hear them over there, as we say, juicing up to prepare for the activity on Friday. So it's now a bar being pitched by Jibel there. Griffith has that one. Griffith changing, find his man on the right midfield, who controls, plays that one back to find his man. They're trying to go forward. He's trying to walk through, finds his number six, plays that one out, trying to bisect both players there. But not a clinical pass, it's intercepted there by number 10 player there for the year ones in Byron. Now even Byron, in the touch is now a true to Jubels. Collected there by the defense there for Jubels, who's walking it. Putting that one wide to find his man. As he's taking that one down, finds his man, they go forward there, rubbed away. Go better shooting there by the player there, but rubbed away there again. But the Jebels, they've got that one across to find his man. And it's cleared away there. Back to the defense for Jebels. That player, this, uh, Griffith controls, plays that one back to find his man. Using the width. Again, that one across. Playing it back still. Back to the middle to find number six player. He's trying to move through. Looking for that moving player, he travels with it. Plays that one wide to find his man. Flag stays down. Number seven has that one in Odin. Odin has his man there, but the clear one's coming by. The defense there for the dads. Yeah, one and it goes into touch over the goal line. So it's going to be technically yeah, one that is. And it goes into touch for a corner kick to be taken by Java Odin. That one will be swinging out. Lofted there. Keeper goes up and collects quite nicely. No challenge on him. Too much of the keeper there. Odin was trying to get that one wrong. But it fell in right in the try right to the keeper there. Who bowled that one out to find his man? Very close, good touch, find this man there. A bit of overweighted there. Griffith, shot a lad went down. She that one off nicely. Griffith trying to move to find this man there. Odin. Odin being challenged there. Clarence come. Partially came up of him. Back to. Yeah, one now. Just trying to go forward. Technical. A player has that one. Gets that one over Blacks, but off of his chest. Black plays that one nicely. Good shielding. Has a bear. broad shoulders indeed. And shielding there. It's now number five. He chose to go back. Find his central defender. His right wing back though. Man drops off, collects. The dribblers are trying to spread them far and wide and as thin them out as possible in the middle, but they're holding their ground though. And dribblers has to play that one out. They're just more or less marshalling them across field, going from left to right. Picks that one up now. Number six has that one. Don't come to go forward. No, he shows to go forward or back still. He's trying to come to the middle now. That player holds up, finds his man. Uh, the man who has the brace, that's no, not good in it is. Number but he six. finds this one, number six, with that one across to find Blacks. Blacks stretches a bit, but still able to keep that one under control. He's trying to move through now. Blacks. Left to that one over. Long pass there for the number 11. And a bit too hard. Into touch. And it goes into touch. For a goal kick to be awarded to the technical, yeah. technical year ones. <clears throat> So it's technical year one. See a player now moving to the bench there. I'm not sure if he'll be able to go there. If he's been recognized by Mr. John. I'm not sure if he was there before or if he's now moving yeah. there. He was there before. Yes, he was there okay, before. Okay, good. So all in all in keep in keeping. It looks like we might have a little obstruction on the track as a herd of goats has now gone to graze. Well, they've been there all evening. They and the earlier game, they, they, were able, they, they walked across, having their own game, so to speak, moving from the opposite ends of the boat goals. So they were allowed to go across, have their way. And we're still having a few more now trying to see what they can, they can do. But I'm looking for a bit of feeling as they have a long night ahead of them, apparently. That's now where the uh, Jibel's trying to spread them thin. A good one today. Let's see the left back take that one over. Get that one across. A bit too flat, though. Odin has that one. He turns out to find his man. Odin still holds on to that one, finds his right wing back. That one has been played there to left wing back, back to blacks. They take him with a cross, spread that one a little wider. Find his man who plays it right back, trying to draw the yeah, one's technical out. 
It's now with the right wing back. Number 23 plays at one to find his midfielder who gets past there. He gets past one. And a trot now. He's moving forward, gets past two. Trying to move and gets inside. Plays that one across to find his man intercepted there. And the long kick that comes down field again. Only to fire the defense there. Black. So plays that one out to find his left wing back. See that that one. Looking to get Odin forward. Odin gets that one. He's predominantly left footed. Gets around one man, gets across, has to stretch to get a one in. Find Gamal Griffith. Griffith finds Black. Black's controls. A lofted one over there, change in play, change direction a bit too hard on this occasion. And we need to touch for another throw into the technical and vocational yeah, tools. So you are listening and viewing live coverage through the Big Hill Network of the Semi Grandis Community College Invitation of Football Championship 2023, the eighth edition indeed. The defending champion Jibbles up against the technical vocational year two. We're now trying to punk their way forward, but that one has been played today. That one played to find his man there. Good move on the part of year two. It's good football indeed. Good pass through again. Good one too, but the red there. Quite nicely by, by the defense there for Jubels. But that one was played too hard into touch for another throwing to technical vocational year one. Show taken there. Player has that one. He shields it up nice, nicely there. Trying to get it forward. He turns inside, finds his man. The player sitting outside there. That ball comes through there. Long over. Only as far as the keeper who comes off and bows that one off. You see that the, that's here one and Mullis sitting back. Uh, sitting back in the in the in the in the back. And we see a bit of obstruction coming here on the part of the animals, the sheep that has that has taken over the field, so to speak, trying to do some grazing, making a making a last minute graze before they go home tonight. Because they have another couple of hours before they can get back out to get some food, eh? So they're making sure that they fill up they fold their, their their tummies for enough food. So it's a start there now. It's now with the Jibels. Rob the way they good move on the part of that play there. Finds Ocean Car. Ocean Car controls. Finds this man there who started actually forward. Nantan. Shot and goal by Nantan there. A bit um, rushy on that occasion. Nantan was playing attacking football. He went back into midfield now. Not being so as he would have probably anticipated. So he's now playing a more relaxing football now. And he's playing out to the middle. So it's a goal kick there for Jebels. The keeper has it. Keeper trying to come forward now. Let's see. He's looking for maybe some width. Long board finds his left midfielder in Java. Oh, then plays a one today. Lab it over to find his man who came back. Plays on to Griffith. Finds Odin. Odin goes around there now. Gets inside. Try to find his man who is sitting there. Looks like he's on the offside. But a player comes in now. A deflection came there. And uh, saved by the keeper. And a second attempt there. But uh, um, Jibel should have done better than that one. But you have to give the guys in white from technical division kudos for avoiding the danger. It says now to Kaa. Kaa moving quite lame day on that occasion. Should have been using his left foot to stop that one as from where it was played. He crosses his feet and uh, in the post has got tied up, so to speak. And uh, he went into touch. So it's going to be a throwing. Throwing was taken. There's now Jibel's spreading from left to right, trying to pull. As I said before, the players for the year one's out. Stay moving from left to right. Change the direction there again. Player moves to looking for some support today. Plays that one out to find his right midfielder who touches his back to the left, to the right wing back. Controls for the depth. Gets across now, gets past one, gets past two. Good skill football. Looking for more depth. They're trying to move forward now. Blacks has that one. He gets past his player. He's been challenged there. He loses that one out. That player was trying to do a second there, but... Uh, why take on a challenge when you have an advantage? When you could have a half time call there, half time call, and, and this one. And just about 14 minutes left on our well, clock. Well, our clock, uh, I think I made a late start too, so let's give the benefit of the doubt to, to the yeah. officials out there. Um, Alonzo Butte, he's marshalling this one. And like I said, you're listening to live football coverage from the Sunday playing field. In the Stevens Grandis Community College Invitational Football Championship 2023, uh, between the, game, the final game of this evening being played between Jibel Youth and the Technical and Vocational Year One, uh, we saw them. The Technical Vocational team went going under in the well winning the first game that the Year Twos, but now we do have the Technical Vocational Year Ones um, trailing by four goals uh, over the Jibel's Youths in this final encounter of the evening. 
a bit live coverage coming from the Sign Up in the field. Um, the, we have um, the Behill News Network. They have been with this um, organization and competition for the past couple of years, giving our viewers and listeners um, some listening audiences as we take on Goals. <clears throat> yes, indeed. I'm um, just getting a bit of correction, but not a bit of correction. We were saying three goals. That's that's what I have on my card. We had Christopher Lewis scoring two, and Java Odin. I think he scored the first goal, and we had Christopher Lewis scoring a brace. Yeah. So I believe at the end of this competition, we'll be having um, maybe Jules. Uh, we'll be having some of the leading goal scorers. You know, as the competition. Comes to an end. Uh, we've been told this competition was run from the 10th of October. It's going to be taken right up until the 17th of November. Uh, games are being played um, on a Tuesday and a Thursday, or maybe sometime on a Friday. But in this case, tomorrow we'll be having a game tomorrow. Two games tomorrow again because this is a long weekend for the um, school and um, for our nation celebrating its 44 um, independent anniversary. So Friday will be a big holiday here. We have the, the regular independence parade where um, the forces, let's say the, the police force, we have the other um, uniform bodies like the cadets, the scouts and so on that take part in this commission. The guides, the um, guiders, the, boat, the brigaders, that's the brigaders from the, maybe, I think that's, that's the Adventist setup, you know, and the other organizations, the nurses take part as well as part of a uniform unit and, um, what about what what are, what are the organizations, as far as you could remember? I think the brownies. The brownies as well, and it's there was a debate before, um, prior to to, to this Friday's um, whether they should switch the date, to, you know, switch the time, for for the whether from morning to evening. But for I think the... they have for the parade. But I think they have concluded now and came to a conclusion that it's going to be in the morning. So they're going to retain that spot as. Um, Persons were saying, some of the, um, the radio audiences were saying, why in the afternoon? Because when the sun, if it's a sunny day, when the sun starts setting, more persons will be in the sun, you know, and uh, even for the persons seated in the stand. But in the mornings, it's more cover for the persons who uh, go to the parade, not those on parade in terms of the, 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 the uniform groups who do the drilling and so on. They will be in the sun from the get-go, you know. So it's a long weekend, as I say. We have car races, we have bike races. You could hear them at nights. The bike men with all these noises, uh, interrupting my sleep. You know, what, 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 what can I do? <laughs> it's, it's part of our celebration. And let us not forget the ladies' heat team playing, I believe, BVI. Yes, yeah, so I think, yes, as I've been reminded here by my co-commentator, co, co um, that... Yes, Lady Heat will be playing. I, I was not sure because I know that they play against Barbados in Barbados. I can't remember the score of that game. Uh, it was 4-5-0 four, four or five nil or something to that effect. But um, they'll be playing this Friday. So I can use this medium to invite um, persons. So if you go to the parade in the morning, come to the Ansville playing field to support the Lady Heat team. Um, the Vinti Lasses, that's the young ladies. Senior team as they take part in the... Um, Regional competition for vying for some some sort of um, what should I say um, status in Caribbean football. That is, they will be taking on uh, the BVI, I think, in this one. But if I know about the BVI, uh, which I did a game as a, a, a international referee before, you know, it's, they do not have the best of standards. But over time, that's how so long ago. So let's see. I'll be there to bring commentary as well from a different media source. So I, I look forward to see the development or the advancement in terms of their development over the years. But um, Vinci, or Vinci Lass's girls are going to be trying. We have started a bit late, still in the developmental stage from my perspective. But um, we see what happens there from there on. Do a, do a countdown on the, on the number, see what, see if we get there. Break back to... Uh, 
Okay, but we just get trying to get, get our clock sorted out here. <coughs> See, like some bug is getting in my throat. So anyway, we, we, we take it from there. So it's going to be the resumption of play here at, at the Sign Hill Print Field in the Simmons Grand Jeans Community College Invitation of Football Championship being played our final game between uh, Technical Educational Year 1s and Jibel's defending champions who are already leading three goals to nil in this encounter, final encounter this evening. Uh, the sun is leaving us, so it's pretty cool conditions here. This evening, the uh, Jibel's are leading the defending champions and we'll see... Um, what will fear and, and in this competition you have a lot of um, players under the age of 23 who are in national setup already and the K kick has been taken it's the dad's year one having that one playing from trying to bring it back a little bit so it's now with um year one they're trying to make some inroads here it's a good play I laughed it one day to find his man his flag stays down he has an advantage there he's trying to go forward let's see he will hit one up uh gets that one across let's see Block comes in there, challenge comes in there. It's now with Jebel is taking it from the center there, down the right wing back. He controls at midfield, who turns back, uh, looking for some support, finds his man, he plays further to the right wing back. Spreading that wide to try and stretch the yeah, ones out there now, trying to move forward. Jebel he goes through there. Player being tackled there strongly, but finds his man. And he runs from an onside to an offside position, from offside to onside position. Flag goes up, offside call against. The Jebels, that is. <clears throat> so the year ones win in uh, a free kick. So there seems to be some discrepancy here. Let's see. Uh, Foot official John Hines trying to ascertain uh, maybe a substitution or something. Maybe with a number or some player who, not sure what it is, but there's a little, a little um, talk <coughs> going on there. I think that's the same number 24 that you said you didn't have on your card earlier. No, 24, that, that was 24 for Jibbers in black. So I, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's... Because there's no 24 here for Jibbers. But please resume. Free kick taken. There by year ones. Headed on there. And you see Nantan try to gain advantage there. That one overtouching it. But winning a corner in the process from a deflection, and it's year one's now winning the first corner, I think, in this second period of play in our final encounter this afternoon, being played at the final playing field in the Simmons and Grandin's Community College Invitational Football Championship 2023, the eighth edition. <clears throat> so it's now with year one's. Let's see what they're going to make of this one. Corner goes in, head goes up, missing. Yeah, once has that, but robbed away there by the defense there for Jebels who moving out. The player goes across, plays it across to find his central defender. Still treading the needles, goes across to find Black. Black player wants to find his left midfielder. He's trying to move across. Lofted pass there. Deflected off the player there. Number 10 has it all. Uh, awkward pass there that goes into touch for another throwing to Jebels. Jibels is playing much quicker and I would say a little bit better this second half. I think that that they might have gotten talk, a talk from the coach, which might have helped. Yes, so they go grip it. Grip it on the, on the chuckle again. Give, give it comes the call, get past one. But try to play that one around the man there, Griffith. Um, reaching in there, um, got some contact under that player. But wins... Uh, Corner, it is, yes. But Griffith trying a smart move there on that defender there who seems to be favoring a bit of discomfort in his right shoulder. It's going to be a corner kick to Jebels. Big one coming in there. Blacks up in the air, hits the back of the net. A brilliant corner there and a good header by Black there. In the far corner there. Um, in the far corner there. Uh, of the net there for the year uh, ones. And... Uh, it's four goals to nil. Goal coming there, by the way, of From number, number 24. 24. That had all looked like a really powerful one. And if you blinked, you might have actually missed it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It was a great header, indeed. 
Good climb by the defender there. And put that one in on your sack. Good placing as well, right in the corner. Right in that left corner that is. Um, that's, that's where most um, professional players try to do their thing. Getting the ball in the corner away from the goalkeeper. And that was a prolific header on that one. So it's now with is looking for a fifth goal. They're trying to come forward. Um, you see that coming across. Number five has that one, putting a bit of challenge, but no. Number six has that, turned in the middle nicely. Spreading that one a little further to find his right wing back, who goes back to the central defender, who drops off. And in a similar pattern, back to the keeper now. They're trying to see how much they can draw these players out. That is for the year ones, technical vocational year ones. So it's now with Jibez punching forward, looking to find his man. Find number 23. He plays that back again to the central defender. He goes for the truth to find his man. Nice wall pass. But wrapped over there. Number 8, 12 has that one for. Yeah, once he collects. Tried to move inside there. Holds that one up. Tackle coming there. But avoided the danger there. Shot and goal. Uh, first real great attempt there. For. Yeah, ones. Goes into the ball, comes across, hey, challenge here, keeper comes in on the bunks, collects. So he's going to get one forward now to find his number 21, number 21 has that, find his man inside. He turns out, rubbed away there, indeed. Uh, that could have gone either way by the referee, but he chose to get a one out. It's now to Odin, Odin on the track, Odin comes in, Odin coming across, Odin coming across, head on the ground. Chose to go to goal there, deflect off the keeper there, and uh, Odin might have been better advised to bring that one across. Um, away from the keeper, because you had three person challenge there, but they deflect there, good save by the keeper, deflecting that one over the goal line for a corner kick to be awarded to Jibels. Corner kick. And the man who came on the on that shot is Odin, trying a second. Yeah, he gets a corner. Left the one over, a bit high there, but only as far as that number 11 player who didn't take it too nicely. Jibel has that one. Challenging still there. Another challenge comes in, but Clarence there. Partially blocked by Black, by black there. Header come taking there. It goes into touch. Can Griffith keep that one in? Yes, they do. And it goes into touch for... A, no, it's a Griffith. Good move there. Good swerving. Good move there by Griffith again. Gets past one, gets past two. Griffith's going to hold on to one. He comes in. Griffith's still coming across. Find this man. And it's... It's still with Griffith. Griffith finds his right wing back. Now he's trying to come in. And let's see. Jibel's playing that way, trying to get to the keeper there. Poor, poor on that occasion, but the keeper didn't take that one too nicely, though. Had to take it on a second attempt. Not being challenged, though. So we have the, that last goal scoring. Mikael Williams, 24. We do had, we had four on that 24 on our card, but just to add the two to it. So it's Mikael Williams, the, the AKA Blacks, as they call him. Um... Last season, he played against, he played for Hope against Jubels. Now he's playing for Jubels in this competition. So it's now with the yeah, Air Ones trying to make some inroads. That one included Nanton. Jubels again has that one. Blacks has that. Mikel Williams, he's trying to come to. Lofted ball, long ball over, finds his man number five. Lofted one over, trying to find a man running in there. He takes that one on his chest. This can be dangerous. Challenge comes in. The keeper had a touch on it. Good hands on it. A deflection off the chest there from the number 10 who was following up quite nicely there. He lift, get that one out to find his man. Uh, he had a little flick on, put that one in back in the middle to find his man. He controls. Turn him back though, find his man in the middle, which is dangerous. Should have been going for him, but got past that one. Good move on the part of the year ones. Lofted ball long field, a long ball long field there. Only to as far as Mikael Williams, the blacks, aka blacks. But rubbed away there, um, taking away there is, uh, the player from Jebels, trying to send. Uh, Jabba Odin on a shot. A long ball played across again. A challenge coming here. There. The ball drops. Who gets with first? The player for Dribbles had that one. Nice. He got his man inside. Control number 10. Griffith. Griffith comes across. Griffith still trying to go for him. Grandma Griffith goes in. Shot and goal, Griffith. Shot and goal. I know he was going to go there. And Griffith now striking there. Again, that one between the goal bars. And it's Kamal Griffith number 10. Scoring Dribbles' fifth goal in this encounter. So we have. Um, Jaquan Adams, no, not sorry, Christopher Williams having a brace, Kamal Griffith having one, Java Odin has one, and Mikael Will Williams um, scoring another one. That was a wonderful goal, just shot right up into that top corner, and the keeper couldn't catch that.
Yeah, well, in all and sort of terms, the keeper was in no position. And, and from what you're seeing, it looks like a makeshift keeper. And um, he had no chance at all in getting that one. As you say, Griffith was always, he's always a goal-hungry guy. Always searching for that goal. I know it would have come at some point. He winded his way through, had a free shot at goal there, basically. And the keeper was unable to, to start that one. So, Jebel is now leading four goals to nil, five goals to nil, sorry, over the technical application of the year ones. Not as brisk as the, and you can see the unit that stays together, plays together. And Jebel is uh, one of those units in the national setup as well. So, it's Griffith now is um, get that one to find his man. Let's see what's happening. Here. He turns back, deflected, but finds um, Odin. Odin, that one in the catcher man, the side he would have before, which is his left foot. He comes across, though, to find his man. Who was walking from an offside position? That one goes into touch. Gonna be <clears throat> a throw-in to year one's technical and vocational. And we see um, number ten has that one. He turns inside. Please, that one them find his man. He's playing in their own back. But the time walkers has that one. Nantan find his man. They try nice little one too. But where from there? Kicks that one deflected one into far as Odin. Odin looking for that man who run inside there, but Odin has it on the floor. There's number 11 on a the trot there trying to get that one too. But Odin chose to go back with that one. He still plays that one. He's going to take it forward or back, I presume. Yes, he does to find the central defender who turns out now looking for his right wing back, number 23. He collects. Comes across. Trying to go through. Looking for his man. Comes inside. Goes inside. Gets it to find his man, Odin. Odin has that one. He's going to try to go a long, hard shot there for Odin. Over the crossbar. In the touch for well, another goal kick to be awarded to the year ones who are behind by five goals. Um, maybe um, during the course of the game thus far, we just have had about one or two goal, one or two attempts are uh, going to goal. And that player took that one, not the best. It's now number 11, number 21, at four, that's it on inside. A lofty one over three looking for the running man. It drops. The defense has that one. When that one coming through, he collects now, turns inside, back to the keeper. Who is being challenged, not so strongly. The keeper holds on that one, get past one man. Play that two to find a central defender who turns further out. Finds his Griffith. Griffith now trying to find that one. Finds Black. Black play that one for the white. Spreading the ball around. Try to get past his man there, but rubbed over there. Long ball play through. The play with was an offside position. Didn't give chase. It's now to the keeper for Who Collects. And bowls that one out his right wing back, number 23. He collects. He's moving down. Find number 11. He's been blocked to rubbed over there. That one's been played back. Finds Jibel. Another touch to come in here. Play for Jibel is onto it. Number 10 has that. Play that one nice to find his man. Quite a lanky player for the year ones. Has some abilities and good height. He's played mid free but now has extended himself to, to the central defense, more or less. And a free kick there for the year one's kick taken in. Keeper had to come and collects. They're now trying to move forward. Player collects nicely, turns in, looking for a man forward. Yes, you see Griffith giving challenge there. Another player there. Rob the Griffith had a touch onto that one. Giving chase Griffith. Bullies himself away on that defender. Gets past one. Holds up, finds his man inside. In Odin. Odin only has a left foot. Um, Odin could have more, 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 or less, more or less come across. He had all room in the wall, but failing to try his right foot. He's prolific on his left foot and on his left foot. I, I, I love to read players who can use both legs. And in this occasion, Griffith, um, Odin could have come across there and even use his right foot and get that one between the, right, the, the uprights. But failed to do that. That one went high and hard over for a goal kick. So any, any comments, Mr. John? You've been watching the game thus far. Yes, I think both teams are playing much better. The defense from the division of technical, though, has been a, a lot more sloppy. In the first half, they were actually reading the plays almost perfectly from the Jibels, but now Jibels are breaking through, and they've had way more attempts at scoring. Yes, so the Jibels are getting another shot here. <clears throat> Play that one back. Find his man. And thank you, Mr. John, for your comments. Good observation. And that's one we've been played through now, but intercepted there by Nanta. Nanta collects, turns inside to find his man. Nanta goes across. Nanta looking for somebody. Plays that one too. Lovely ball there. The, keep, the player did not keep his eyes on that one because that was a chance um, 
was coming there, but the keeper came off and kicked that one to find Mac Mikel Williams, Black, aka Blacks, who scored that lovely header. It's now with that player gets it across, going to try the defense there, number 10, for playing quite cool and calm and collective there. We see Nanta Mikel and Mokka that one. And when you have a when you have a good plan, a good build up, is to take advantage of it, not to be um, mocking around as was just done there on the part of that player. But it's now with, with that was Nanta, it's now with Jibels. Lofted pass over, far and wide finds who are one Odin. And the flag goes up there, yes. And we saw that player getting one across. Um, he gets it over the player, uh, player ran onto it from his team. You could have heard the player say, no, 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 because he recognized that the player was standing outside. But at that time, it was too late. The assistant won, Live and Victory flag went up. And as a result, offside call against Jibel. So it's now number 14 there for the year ones. Technical application at number 10 has it now. Plays that one in to find his man. Good pass, good selection. Player has that one, not sure where he's going. Poor pass, find them by 11. Two turns, finally back to number two, right back to the keeper, trying to draw them out again. And um, you can see that the team that has been most cool in terms of a unit over the years is the dominant one in, um, in this case. With the year ones, they've just, they're, these are students that have just joined the, the college. So they've just put themselves together, trying to find a unit. And if this is the best choice, the best is still yet to come. So it's now with, it's now with um, Odin, Odin and a shot there, but good play on the part of that number 10 player. Maybe one of the better players here in the technical and vocational team. Finds his man in the middle. He turns, good touch. Put that one across. Dangerous. Coming across the center of the field. He has to make a clearance whether it goes. To, it doesn't matter where it goes, but it's not that player. He finds that man there. Let's see number 11 has that one. They're trying to go forward. Find the man in the middle there in Nantan. Nantan opens to get past one. Nantan being tugged there. Nantan's being robbed there of that one. The referee didn't probably just saw the hand flying there. You know, he because he's positioning, but he made a call. However, there was a bit of pulling and tugging the, the part of that player there by that player holding on to Nantan. Nantan wasn't having it because he made did make a good play and thought that he should have had the privilege to, to move forward. But free kick taken there, that wasn't playing forward. There were too much to go. The keeper didn't take that too nicely. And a second attempt has to do so. Clean this up. So it's now with. The keeper for Jibels who bowls out onto his left wing back, finds his left wing back, who is moving forward. A long ball, changing direction, a good ball indeed. Finds his man there who had a head onto it. Didn't have the best of control, but the players are onto him very nicely. Playing from behind, but he was able to have some control. So he goes across. He's been tripped in the process. And the foul call there, free kick to Jibels. That is, the referee is now calling the two players who have been really having a go to bring some calm and some solution to what is transpiring among among them. So that's Nantan number six player there for Jibels. So it's going to be a cricket number five. <clears throat> when I have this one, let's see. Oh, poor. Oh, my word. A very poor kick there, but the attempt, the attempt there, it went across, players on both teams, the players were arguing, you know, the goalkeeper thought that they were coming, I were coming, but nobody came. And luckily for them, they avoided the danger. And I kick, I can't kick now to Jibels this time around. Left the one across, we see Blacks heading behind there. Blacks on a lovely attempt there by Blacks again, a good swerving volley there. The keeper, I swear the keeper had a hand to it, but it came off the crossbar. And um, I don't know how that one did not, but uh, quite a big move there by Mikkel Williams. AKA Blacks number 24 for Jebels and uh, yet one's technical lives to fight another day. Even if the keeper, even if the ball didn't hit the crossbar, which it didn't look like that from this angle, the keeper would have saved that, which I applaud him for because as you said before, he looks like a makeshift keeper. Yes, and there's not an attack here, but a poor passing on the part of, of the yeah, one's technical. It's not with the keeper. Love knife, nice lofted pass there, deflected off. Let's see Odin on a try. Odin comes in. Odin comes in. Odin gets one across. Good defending there. But number 10 play there. It's now with Griffith. Come on, Griffith. Shot and go by Griffith. Good move on Griffith. That one was aiming for the far corner, which is, which is where you shoot, actually. And the keeper made a brilliant save there. Good hands, a pair of hands on, on that one. I think the a keeper. But um, 
he was able to avoid the danger and giving away a throw-in to Jibez. So we see um, Ode now being called off. I don't think he is too happy. He's having a having a, 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 a rollicking time in this encounter. But the bench thought that he was supposed to give a give a rest, and the number fourteen goes in. And uh, nothing wrong when you having when you're trying players and you're leading handsomely to give them really give them that that, that effort to see what they can have. Cross comes in now. Oh, that player came from behind. A poor clearance there by the keeper. Ask him for that one. And oh my, a big muck coming up there. Keeper was calling. The number 10 player was almost lined up there. Was lined up there trying to get a volley in. Out of it, out of it. But um, about the danger, however, and giving our corner away. So it's a bit of an argument in the back. The players arguing among themselves and a nation that is divided. As we would say, we feel right. So in this case, where we have a team that is divided, arguing among themselves, they 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 are feeling thus far, and if they continue to argue, they will feel even bigger. <clears throat> so it's now with Jamal with C referee blowing there is a free kick against Jabel. So it's going to be a free kick there to the yeah ones technical and vocational. They'll kick down field there. Black a lot of going to drop. The player goes on to that one. But it headed off the player there, number two for Dribbles to the keeper now who tried to beat there. Got away that one though. Finds his right because he was well read there. And a good choice to change the direction. It's now with Blacks. Mikhail Williams. He gets that one across to find his number seven player. He holds it up. Number five, that is, gets across there to find the man who is standing outside. Had he got that ball gotten to him, it would have been called outside. But it's now with. Yeah, one trying to get out of there. Avoid the danger. He played that one to find his man who's back was torn right into a player there. But referee claimed that he was touched from behind. Number six is going to be a free kick. There to the year ones who are behind by five goals. Jubels, um should have been for the, for the, the quality of football that they're playing. I think they should have really been advancing even further, looking for more goals. Free kick taken, find his man who can't choose nice. He turns outside to find his left wing back. Number 17, he can't choose. Play that one down the line. But only to cross the line and it goes into touch. So it's another throw in there to Jebels this time. In my opinion, it seems like the, that the DTV year one needs to work on their passing and control. Yes, indeed. Griffith now. Griffith on a shot. Griffith's going to... Griffith now. Griffith. Griffith. Still Griffith. 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 Gets past. Good pace. Uh, Griffith. 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 Once you give Griffith that opportunity, he is going to pounce on you. And that he did this on this occasion. Come on, Griffith. Scores. He's going to brace in this game. Joining Christopher Lewis. And um, I guess these guys would have realized from the year ones that Griffith is not going to be um, having any fun. He is here to compete. I love this compete and he's competing for all it's worth and he has scored and here we see um orion number 10 for year one's leaving this can spell disaster for unless the player who comes in to the central defense number 13 can do better than what he was doing they can find themselves in further trouble so it's now with the blacks get that one down line good move on by the luck there Find this man. Heads down. The player tried to move through there. And rubbed over there. The word black and good chest there. Put it back to Griffith. Griffith again. Griffith dancing. Griffith dancing. But he could do it out that player. Griffith still holds on. Griffith turns in. Griffith holds up. Holds up. It's Griffith. Bring it over across. Finds this man there. Trying to bring more players out there. Because there were numbers inside there. Numbers. Loads of, of players there for the year ones. It's shot taken there. Uh, more or less like a pass. But the intention was to get it in the far corner but a bit too much weight on that one it took it that one over the crossbar and into touch for a goal kick to the year ones quite cool conditions now suited for playing you know and young lads everybody in this tournament is under 23 um good prospects for national selection some of them are in the lineup thus um so far and in, in the under 19s and in the and the 23s, and I think there's a youth World Cup to take place. We seem as we'll be taking part in, the, in that grouping in the youth World Cup. Um, it's in February of this of next year for sure that we'll be having 
preparations. And I think we shouldn't be taking much time. Blacks again, a big one this time. A player ran inside, but he was able to take it down. Has control. Tries, tries, and tries. Running straight into a player there. Didn't shoot at the instruction given by Blacks there. And a player comes across that one straight to Blacks again. You know what? Blacks was defeated there by that on that occasion. Pleasure to get this man there, but lose now. It's now with um, Jubels. They have hold and won that one up again. The player's chosen to go back to the keeper. Is he? Yes, he does. He has that one under control now, the keeper. Looking to have a little fun. Play that one to a player there. Who, oh, my word. A more or less a giveaway. That keeper played that one to a number 11 player there for the year one. Uh, technical vocational in Nanton. That, that this time was... Ju Ju yeah, another ball coming today. This can be Griffith. Griffith, Griffith, Griffith. Griffith again. Scoring a hat-trick this time. Griffith now scoring a third goal there for, the uh, for Jubels. Jubel is uh, scoring some, a lot of goals in this competition this time. Um, well, this time, and the, the, the defending champions, they're really showing the dominance, um, so to speak, Mr. John. Yes, and it seems that every time Kamal Griffith has the ball, the keeper has come out of goal to try and get it from his feet, which has not been working out. So if I could give advice, I would tell the keeper to stay more in the goal and not try and go for the ball yes well um good 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 observation as well but if i was the if i was if i was the defense i'll try not to make any shots go to the keeper at all and to try and avoid trying to protect him as much as possible and as i you mentioned that i just make some observation there the man who has replaced the number 10 player for the year ones uh, is not looking the best of players there in that position and the two goals has already gone um, from his the position he would have taken up there he's not the best of, of defenders he's just probably to stop now he has a challenge coming here this one is coming forward Griffith again put that one over to find number 14 who has come in as well guess that one across a good uh, left foot uh, he made an um, left contact he made on that one but it came across goal over the crossbar into touch is going to be uh, Goal kick here to the year ones. Uh, someone on the pitch over there, behind the pitch. So it's going to be a goal kick here now to the year ones. The keeper really not happy. You don't think he's been he was being given enough support uh, at this time, but he's still trying. He's not giving up. Others might have walked now to the goal, but he he chose to stay and perform the duty he has been asked to. So it's now, oh, look at that again, look at that again. Jibels, Jibels, really not, um, yeah, one's really not doing what they're supposed to be doing on this occasion. And we see another one going to beg in there in for, for them. And it's going to be another gold kick to, yeah, one's living, living luckily on this occasion. Go kick. Keeper gets that one going, finds his man. Laps to that one over. Looking at support. Only as far as Blacks, who has stepped up now, playing more or less midfield. So it's now with um, Nantan. Nantan tried to get that one across. Nantan, lovely kick there, find his man. But equal to the task is the number five player there for Jibba. Slipping and still was able to get in contact with him. Gets past one, two, three. Uh, had an advantage there. Referee might have should have, could have allowed that one. Not much um, danger was, was created there, but it's now with Griffith. Griffith played that one quickly to find his man. Jibel is having a practice day. And another one, another play coming here. The players able to get that one, but not enough smart play here on the part of um, the player. For, but it's nobody here. One trying to go through, find this man. Play that one off again, a nice one too. That player was able to avoid that danger for the Jibel. Find this man there. Another fight coming on. Jibel has had that one. Player uh, crossing a bit too flat this time. We see Blacks, Mikael Williams looking to see if he can get another one. It's now with them there. Trying to come through there again. It's now the year one now trying to get that one in. Flag goes up, offside call, and free kick to Jebels. With just about six minutes left on our clock, I do not believe, unless year one has a stroke of luck, I do not believe that they could pull back from this at all. Well, definitely the time doesn't permit um, with, his, with the level of football that the Jebel team is playing. <clears throat> And it's in the air, headed again, comes in there. 
I play a fix, but Rob the there, there once has that. A lot of my Nantan playing behind the man there. He can't get to it there. He got there, but held up a bit. And as he does, did that, he was um, robbed by Jubels. They're now trying to come forward. <coughs> Sorry. Jubels now trying to come forward again. Take that one. There comes forward there. Gets that one across. Can he? Play that one to find number nine player. Shot and goal deflected there. It is like number 13 has heard you, heard your cries that he is not as good and stepped up his game. And we see Blacks there. We see Blacks now scoring Mikkel Williams, stepping up from defense, advancing himself to the center midfield, and now has further advanced to the striking position and collecting that one quite nicely and um, putting his name, now collecting a brace and scoring that goal there. <clears throat> taking the total to seven goals no eight goals so Christopher Lewis has two a brace uh, Kamal Griffith has three Jabba Odin has one and now Mikael Williams scoring is scoring a brace so it's eight goals and just as I said number 13 is good Jebel, Jebel score and that's the end of the game so the final score in this evening's encounter at the Sinead playing field played in the Simmons Grandis Community College in the football championships. We saw defending champion Jubels scoring eight goals. They have already advanced their scoring opportunities and they are here. They're showing here that they're not here for fun. They're here to compete and compete to the best of their ability. And they came up with eight goals this evening. Uh, winning over year ones, uh, the, the guys, let's hope that they can do better next time around because for the students who stays on the, on, on the, on the campus, that is the technical center. And um, can only stick together and build so that uh, they can advance probably next season. Around. So it's eight also the leading winning this encounter this evening so we are now um wind up from the signal playing field here as we say goodbye to our viewers and listeners from the signal playing field in this second encounter for this evening play the signal playing field between jibbel's youths and the, the dad's year ones um winning eight goals to to nil. So on the playing field we say cherry you and I until tomorrow where we resume with another set of um football games as we wind down this independence weekend where there are loads of activities, independence parade, we're having car races, um time trials, boat bikes and cars, um other activities you do have um shows. We know a famous Judy Boucher she's gonna be taking part in one of the um, famous shows that are taking part here. And those other activities that will be taking place. Not to forget that uh, Lady Heat will be taking on think the British Virgin Islands at the Ansville playing field in one of the regional championships. Um, the, so we're inviting at that on Friday, Independence Day, at the, the Ansville playing field. So um, another good evening from the sign of the playing field here. So we're going to sign out. Um, from Cyan Hill in this competition. Cheerio, goodbye, see and listen to our viewers tomorrow.